All right, boys. I'm live. I'm live. I literally have seen every fight, but the very first fight. And now we're watching Falcao versus Hugo. And it looks like Hugo about to get choked, but then he survives. I didn't watch it in any footage on Falcao, and I fucking picked Hugo. I should have watched some footage, man. But let's see what happens. I, have, I had nothing ready. Other than my graphics, luckily. But I'm here now, boys. I gotta get everything ready after this fight. So I have all of it good to go. Either way, we're in the first round with three minutes to go. Oh, Hugo setting up a... Setting up a Goga Plata. I don't think he's gonna get it, though. But now he's looking to use it to get in... Alright, Falco gets up. Good knee by Falco. Falcao, or however the hell you say his name. Hugo looks already like he's getting a bit tired from the grappling. By the way, I'm so happy Dan Argetta got choked out. Almeida called out Chris Weidman. Almeida's the guy who beat Butka, right? That's the Almeida you're talking about, I'm assuming. The guy on this card. Hugo with a nasty body shots. Oh, Hugo almost eats a big left hook here. He's trying to circle. Oh, Falcao is coming out looking for a fucking finish, man. Good out made should have said, I'm going to finger that dude. Sorry about not being super early. I was wearing, and look, my fuck, I look like a fucking weirdo. I was wearing a hat all day. A beanie all day. Nice leg kick by Hugo. So my hair's all fucked up. I was sweating underneath of it. Falcao's just pressing forward. Oh, Falcao's in on another takedown. I literally had nothing ready to go other than my... Gra I had my stream set up, though. But I gotta get all my notes up. I hate when they have early fights. I still laugh. They can't say the F word on the broadcast. That's crazy, bro. Hugo defending well, man, now. This could be like this last fight. Where he's losing and then comes back and wins. Oh, nice left hand by Hugo. And Falcao looks like he's starting to get tired. Anybody else noticing this? Falcao looks like he's getting tired. And Hugo's starting to land on the feet. Looks for a spinning kick. Um, misses almost gets taken now. Falcao, I think, blew his load, man, early. Falcao blew his load early. He's going to lose now. Falcao's gassed now. I'm convinced he's definitely going to lose. He's 100% gassed, and we have 20, 20 seconds left in the first. They're saying, why is Tyone not touching him, bro? He doesn't break him. He's just screaming stop from 20 miles away. Oh, it slipped underneath. Just got done watching Countdown Joy. Imagine Gaethje beats Holloway like he did Tony Max. is never the same. It's probably going to happen, dude. All right, let me open another. I hate Tyone, too. <sighs> he says he's good, but that gave Falcao a break because Falcao is completely gassed. Dude, I fucking hate Tyone. He's a bum. Butka looked fucking horrible, by the way. 
Dan Argetta pissed me off. I'm so happy he lost. So that was pretty sweet. And I should have, I'll have my timer up for the second round. They really said if you can't make it, you got whooped by Gaethje, now you have to fight everyone else. What? Oh, yeah. Dude, Butka wasn't throwing any shots at all. I'm embarrassed that I picked him now. I, dude, the other guy was literally has no takedown defense. I thought for sure Buck would win. But I didn't know he only landed one shot. I know he didn't land shit. All right, hopefully my timer actually worked. Yes, it did. Falco took round one. Falcal took round one, by the way. All right, it is halting up. Left hand from Hugo. Oh, spinning back kick from Hugo. Falcao looking to grapple again. Yeah, Hugo thinks he's got this in the bag at this point. He's looking to set it. Oh, nasty elbow from Hugo. Up against the fence. Falcao's gassed out at this point. I'm telling you. I'm all fucked up right now, bumping into my microphone and shit. Hugo gets out from the from the fence now. Yeah, Falcao is completely gassed, I believe. Hugo better watch out, man. His those kicks are getting close. Left hand from from Hugo. You better watch out for them kicks if he gets them in the groin again. Tyone liable to take a point. Light kick from Hugo. Nice jab from Falcao. Hugo keeps chopping the calf. Falcao backing him up. Falcao's exhausted. He's pulling the Chris Weidman. Now he shoots in on a takedown. Hugo looking for a takedown here. Or Falcao looking for a takedown up against the fence. Hugo landing elbows. Dude, Falcao's completely exhausted. Yeah, the commentary was like officially Budga only landed one strike. That's crazy. Right hand from uh, Hugo. Teep kick from Hugo. Left hand from Falcao. Ooh, left hand from Hugo. Hugo striking his ass. Teep kick from Hugo. I fucking hate the apex cage. It's so small. Oh, Falcao in on a takedown. The people at the apex look like they're having a rip-roaring good time, don't they? Now, I think Hugo is going to find a sub at some point. I think Hugo's winning this round. Hugo just seems like he has no respect for uh, Falcao, which is crazy. Throws a spinning back elbow, doesn't land, ends up giving his back up. Falcao's exhausted. Yeah, they're both shit. But Falcao's at least exhausted, so he has an excuse. He's grabbing the fence. Okay. Oh, ref Tyone warned him immediately. He's doing the Dan Argetta, man. Good leg kick from Hugo. I think Hugo's winning this round. Nasty teep from Hugo. Hugo's tired as well. Oh, we landed a left hand there and Falcao went on another takedown. Every fight card has looked the same. I know. Just nonstop spam and takedown. I didn't see the first fight, so I can't say, but you're right. I keep seeing the cameraman run around. What are they short on cameraman today? I think Hugo's going to win this round. Hugo looks for a spinning heel kick. Doesn't get it. And up on the ground for a second. Hugo's got his back now, but they're standing up against the fence. 
Hugo's got his back. Falcao's tired, too. Push, don't grab. Push, don't grab. That's Tyone right now. First fight was similar. Then it was a body shot finish. Who was winning up until the finish? Head kick from Hugo. Teep kick from Hugo. Good leg kick from Hugo. Let's say Hugo's got this round unless something crazy happens at the end. Mullins was winning. That's crazy. I'll have to go back and watch it. Both look like shit. Sounds about right. Sounds about women's MMA. Um... Do, 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 do. Um, so it's 1-1 one, one going to the third. Do you think they speak English? Some of them probably have no idea what the refs are saying. Here we go. Third round. I think it's 1-1 right now. Let's see what happened. Oh, just heard him with something. I missed it. Falco dropped from something. Oh, I forgot. It did. Okay, I did hit my timer. Good. He said it was a left hook. I missed it. But it doesn't look like he's hurt. Hugo immediately let him up, though. Body kick from Hugo. Dude, I feel like this... Oh, head kick from Hugo lands. Team kick from Hugo. Oh, Hugo clinches up with him. I'm surprised Hugo's just doing nothing but striking here. Falcao's going to lose this round. He's going to lose 29-28. Falcao looks for like a trip. Doesn't get it. But gets in a better position up against the fence now. Let's see what dropped him. It was a left hook right on the chin. Dropped him. Hugo should have went down there. But yeah, I think the ref's yelling at him sometimes and they have no idea. Oh, spinning back kick. Tyone saying it was legal. I don't think. I think it hit the groin a little bit. We're gonna get another sketchy finish. Oh, Hugo going after him now. I thought I heard a cup. I want to see the replay. Falcao's good. I think it touched the cup. I heard it. I heard it. Oh, here. Yeah, but it clearly hit the cup. It definitely got the cup. 100% got the cup. I can't believe my hair is just straight sticking up. He said that was definitely below sea level. Tyrone socks, yeah. Dude said this guy has clean striking. What the fuck are they smoking? Left hook lands for Hugo. Yeah, Hugo's going to end up winning 29-28. At least he should. Falcao going after him now. Big elbow up against the fence, but shoots in on takedown. <coughs> I hate the apex cage. Imagine he just punched him in the nuts right here. Is Steve Mazzagatti the horn guy now? He got regulated to the horn guy? Push shocked him off.
Falcao's got to do something. Dude, the, the commentary team's horrible. They say they look fresh. Neither one of them look fresh. They both look tired. Small cage is annoying. It's making every little, every fight shit. Dude, I hate the small cage. It's stupid. Falcao's pressuring enough. Imagine Hugo actually punched him in the dick. Oh, left hand just hurt Falcao and they didn't even see it. He just hurt him with that. Falcao getting aggressive now after he got clipped. They both seem like so wide open to be hit. All right, let's see if Hugo gets it done. I wouldn't trust the judges, though, after the second round. I mean, he should win. Hugo chopping the legs. Hugo head kick. Kicked him in the groin again. But Valcal didn't even react to that one. He's like, the ref told me last one was legal. Valcal looking for a big left hand in on a double leg. Gives up his back temporarily, but he can't get a takedown. Elbows from Hugo. Falcao's doing some. This round's close enough, man. Falcao could get this third round. I'll be honest. I don't think he does. But it wouldn't shock me. Dude's throwing some kicks, ends up falling on the ground. Falcao should have clipped him on the way up right there. You didn't update a video on why the Apex sucks? Maybe. I hate the Apex, dude. I hate the Apex. I hate these Apex cards in general. Do, do, do. Thoughts on John? Super sketchy. Super sketchy. But I don't, I don't really... I mean... There's not enough info that's come out yet. I want to read all the info. I want to read all the info. I haven't seen it all. I've been busy all day. But it doesn't look good. Yeah, I saw that. So it looked bad early, but then looked work then didn't look as bad once we got more information. And then, um, uh, and then, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. And then I also think it's funny. Everyone clutching their pearls over it, but no one cared what, uh, John, what, uh, Jamal Hill did. Thirty twenty-seven. I think they're gonna give it to Falco. I think they're gonna give it to Falco. Thirty twenty-seven. They give him the first round. Was I not paying attention enough in the first round? Hmm. I look like a total fucking clown with my hair sticking up right now. Was it right there? Anyway. Damn, I look fucking tired as hell. Jermaine Danderami? I never heard that shit before. No one cared as he got a DUI. People did care. Um, I think Danish should be making knockout bonuses more money and give them out more often. Probably. Are you jealous of Jamin, Jam Damon Jackson's new hairline? Dude, every time he, sh he tests, he looks like he has a better um, hairline, and then he shows up and it looks like shit. 
I don't think people know about Hill violence at all. I'm going to make a video about it this week. I'm getting rid of these live reactions. It blocks the chat a little bit, and I hate that. Yeah, people definitely going harder on John Jones. Yeah, I mean, if 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 the accusations are true, he is a piece of shit. So, Steve has more recent win than JDR. That's all you need to know. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's actually the correct way to pronounce her name. I thought it was Durandamine. Jermaine Dave Radami? I'm not saying that. Um, let me get rid of this. We have Dumont versus Durandamine. Watch her win. Why is our whole group walking like, like, look at this guy next to him. He's happy to be on TV. Did you see the video John posted on his Instagram with the people who tested him all friendly? Still could have happened. Just curious if you saw it. I did see it. It's a very unique situation. Because you got someone calling the police. Apparently, her the boss of the person who called the police didn't want her to call the police until they talked to the UFC. John was definitely drunk. John was definitely drunk. You could see his ass cheeks were hanging out. So she was off because, uh, was she off because she was having a kid? Is that what they said? I still don't know what to think about the John Jones situation. I'm gonna have to make a video on that. Classic John Jones moment, yeah. Okay. And also, it could be one of those things, to be honest. There's some people who are overdramatic and just want some fame. I'm not saying that's the case there. But I'm just saying there's so many different variables. But if John, if John's really being a scumbag, I thought he didn't submit the test sample. I thought he didn't submit, I did thought he didn't submit the test sample. And I thought at that point, caught him, strip him. But if he submitted the test sample and he was just a piece of shit. She looked incredible on the scale according to the commentator. I can't believe Jerain Duranamine's been gone for so long. There's only going to be alcohol and cocaine, no steroids. Yeah, that's facts. John being drunk at his own home isn't really bad. The way they they walked in at a bad time is what it is. Yeah, I thought he refused to take the test at first. I like how they sample the Rocky song. I don't know what you mean. Did Dumont get more tattoos? I never noticed these before. Mark Smith's like, let me let me be very careful here. Yeah, I think the UFC should cut John Jones. And that way he can go to PFL and fight in Ghana. That's crazy. I need to look. This is what happens when you... I was wearing a beanie today. It was kind of... It was kind of cold out, and I wore a beanie, and I was sweating in my beanie, and now my hair's all fucked up when I get home. Imagine, you, yeah, dude, that's what I would love. Remember when the camera caught Mark Smith lacking, looking at a female fighter, bending over, doing something? Yeah. I know they'll never cut him. By the way, thank you guys for joining me for this absolute dog shit card when I start late, till I'm embarrassed that I keep start, starting late. But it is what it is. Nothing I can do now.
Like the stream if you guys could. Everybody go like the stream. Starting late. Horrible card. I'm going to get shit views on this one. I believe I picked. Yeah, I picked Dumont the decision. Um, here we go. When will MMA Joey be in a UFC promo? Like, dude, everyone keeps saying that. I was in a UFC countdown two years ago, bro. Two years ago. Now nah, I wouldn't pleasure you live on Rumble. Let's see if Duran Duran is completely rusty. Jones could be literally on video sacrificing a guy and Danny, but I don't know. The kid has demons. Yep. Nice leg kick by Duran Duran. I mean, turns Dumont around. I'm already hating my, uh, I'm already hating my Dumont pick right now, but I couldn't pick someone off for four years. Oh, good leg kick by Jermaine. Gets taken down. Dumont ends up on top. Durant 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 rolling for a leg lock here. But Dumont just spins with it. Dumont on top. This is what I thought would happen. Come on, Dumont. Do a little bit of damage here. JDR probably guesses, probably. Just did some stupid shit. What do you mean? Didn't she just get a kick caught? That's it. Let's see if she can get up, though. Damn. Damn. Drain her enemy and looks like she has no ability to get up. She's just laying there holding on right now. Dumont loves the apex apparently. Why is that? Why go for heel can that's That's true. But she was just trying to use it to scramble up, I think. She has full guard here. Dude, Dumont's not doing any damage, though, which is so dumb. Oh, Dumont looking to set up an arm triangle. But she's in full guard still, so she's not going to get it right now. Yeah, she's in guard. The commentator said Dumont is 6 0 in Apex, loves it here, and it's good hunting ground for her. <laughs> I didn't even hear that, dude. I have this on just to give me a little bit of noise. Dumont finally throws some shots to the body. Dude, Dumont's like keeps setting up the arm triangle, but she's in full guard, and JDR has the, her closed guard. This is shit, man. Yeah, she's not even trying to pass the guard here. I'm so glad I didn't pick Jorain Duran. I mean, she's just laying there doing nothing. Just laying there doing nothing. Dumont's not doing any damage. Not doing any fucking damage. That's crazy. Oh, she's now got her stack doing a little bit of damage here. This is... Damn, this is going to be one of the worst Apex cards ever. She's looking for an arm trial again from full guard. 
This is garbage. How do you not do any damage being on top for four minutes? JDR looking for a guillotine here. Not even close. Now she's up. Yeah, get up with 10 seconds. I'm ready to go to sleep now. Dumont got her back down. Ten nine Dumont. Next up, we get to see the dead body of Court McGay. Next up, the dead corpse of Kurt Mc or of Court McGay. I can't believe Mullins and fucking Buck have lost. I can't believe Nora Cornell won. Lose out grappling Curtis in practice literally means nothing. What does that even mean? I don't get it. I remember when you joke. It wasn't a joke. He really did. Dude, go back and watch it, Jack. He pretended to be out cold. Oh, big right hand from Dumont lands. And she shoots. Gets stuffed. Dumont lands the left hand. Oh, gets in on a single leg. About to get her down. Nope, doesn't get it. Why are these camera guys like running around in the background? It's actually pissing me off. Is this like the new camera angle they're showing? I mean, it's true, bro. He played dead. It is camera crew running around in the background. It's actually annoying the piss out of me. Drained her enemy reverse position, by the way, and Dumont's up against the fence. Six more minutes of sleep. I'm ready to go to sleep right now. I should have just went to bed. Recap the card later. Knee to the body by Dumont. What's crazy is Dumont was winning on the feet. Knee to the body from Dumont. Knee from JDR. Good knee to the body by JDR. Every fight is just going to be them just clinching up against the fence. I. Oh, big shots from JDR. Or GDR. JDR's, GDR's just beating up the body with knees right now. Dumont's throwing a little bit of clinch work here. Good shots in the clinch. Just a big clinch battle here. How many times is Dumont going to get kneed in the body, though? That dude has a shirt on in the crowd that says shit show supervisor. Does anybody see that? She's a welcome addition. I'm ready to end the stream and go to sleep. Knee to the body by GDR. Was this going to be a clinch battle this whole round? Oh my god. Dumont's trying to fight out of the position. She finally reverses position. Disengage now. Alright, they're about to finally break. Knee to the head now by GDR. G Durand means ass. Dumont needs to do a little bit of damage here from that clinch damage. JDR, GDR is winning the round. 
Head kick from Durandamine. Let's see what's going to It's going to be come down to the third round. They're both throwing big shots here. Jab from Dumont. Oh, catches a kick, takes her down. With a minute 30 left. It's probably the worst fight I've seen. You didn't watch Dylan Bucker versus Cesar Almeida. As long as Dumont does a little bit of damage here, she can win this round easy. She's got to do a little bit of damage. She's an idiot. She needs to throw shots here. She throws one hammer fist and misses. Little short elbow there, didn't really land fully. Slammed her down a little bit. Dylan Buck already fought. Dumont's got to do some damage here. I mean, it's close still. Oh my God. Durandamy's just literally stalling here, just holding on for dear life, stalling. Big elbow from Dumont. Body, body. I think Dumont's going to win this round. Just a little bit of damage because all only damage Durain Demand did. Durain Demand did. What the fuck? I can't say her name. Durain Durandamine. They ran to mean. It's weird not saying her first name. Was in the clinch. Dumont landed some shots early. There was an arm bar attempt at the end, but she wasn't going to get it. Um, I'm saying Dumont. What? It's Durain Durandamine. I was trying to say Durandamine. I was trying to say, like, not the first name. I'm tired. Take off this watch. All right. I mean, that second round could be Jermaine Durandamines. But I don't think it is. I think she's down two rounds. I think Dumont's going to win a decision. Excuse me. Because Dumont was landing big shots early in that round as well. But we know Jermaine, literally, if she gets taken down, she has no grappling. Durandamine looking to get aggressive here. I took off the Rolex. Good job from Dumont. Right hand from Dumont. Jab from Jermaine Durandamine. Oh, takedown from Dumont. Easy work. She scrapes immediately to the back. To her back against the fence here. If Dumont can cement this position, it's over. If Durandamine can't, if Durandamine can't I can't say just her. I have to say Jermaine Durandamine. Oh, she gets to her feet. But if she can get to her feet here. Don't grab the fence now. She might get up here. She dragged her back to the fence. That's going to be massive for her. She gets taken back down. She's done for. Her back's against the fence. And Dumont's in side control here. And has a wide open arm triangle here. She's giving up her back against. Oh, rear naked. Jermaine goes to her back now. All right, this is it. This is it. No matter what, this is it, I think. Because Dumont's going to either control her. Yep. Dumont's in side control. Durandamine? I mean, that's literally her name. You know that, right? GDR is just literally complaining that they, she wants to get stood up. She was like kind of throwing her hands up a little bit there.
Yeah, JDR has no grappling at all. Three years off, she still has no grappling at all. Other than to submit Pena. You have Dumont going for subs that aren't there. Unless GDR was looking for a guillotine here, she could get a Von Flo. She's just pressuring her with her shoulder here. I, I'm I'm convinced that Dumont has no jujitsu. She doesn't know how to sub anyone. Durandamine literally isn't trying to do shit, and neither is Dumont. Yeah, she's just pressure and pressure and pressure. Yeah, Nunez is laughing right now. She's like, this is such a garbage division. This is really bad. This whole card is really bad so far, honestly. Again, I haven't seen the first fight, but other than that, the rest has been horrible. What is Dumont doing? She's laying there like a dead fish. On top. She's not even trying to do anything. She's just driving her shoulder into the neck. Oh, I don't want to see that angle. She's about to give up her back now, trying to get up. Dumont locks in her rear naked, but no hooks. Nope, she's not there. She's trying to get hooks now. But she might mess up. Oh, she gets one in. She got the back now. These cards are treacherous. Dumont's garbage. Yeah, I remember Nunez just spamming takedowns. Yeah, Durandami needs to retire. She's trying to shake her off, but nope. She gets to the fence. This is where she can get up. Dumont did no damage. She finally gets back up. This card's been pure fireworks, yeah. Facts. Love this fight card. Oh, yeah, it's so good. I'm totally not tired and not want to watch anymore. Dumont takes her right back down again. It's going to be the hottest of all hot takes. Durandamine should win. She's throwing shots from the bottom. Dumont's not doing any damage at all. Now Dumont's trying to throw some back here. What a dog shit fight. Don't even don't even hug each other. You guys didn't even fight each other. Yeah, that was something to behold, boys. That was something to behold. I hope you guys enjoyed. They're hugging in full guard. That was such a horrible fight. What the fuck is this movie trailer? Basically just laid on each other. And then they act like they went to war. This this card was shit so far. I don't care what happens the rest of the card. Imagine imagine GDR was holding up her hands and then she won. Look how hard they're breathing too. Twenty nine, twenty. That's why people don't like women's MMA. She extends her win streak to four.
Yeah, don't even give her an interview. Walter Walker. Dude, he looks in better shape. Lucas Dresky looks better. I hate women's MMA. It's not honestly not even about women's MMA, just these little fights. Don't forget about Butka. That's true, bro. That's true. That's true. There's just more. There's just more high level men's than there is women's. You're 100 percent right, dude. This low level MMA is bullshit. But it's just especially. But it, every time I see a women's MMA, low level women's MMA fight, I'm like, okay, this is why people shouldn't women's MMA. It's like I'm holding to hold them to a higher standard. That was such a bad fight. Like I'm fitting to go to sleep. I'm actually really tired. I fucked up. Can't wait for 300. I picked up and picked Dresky. Dude, he looked in good shape, so you might not be wrong, dude. He looked in good shape. I mean, he looked like in the best shape he's ever been in, for sure. Joey deserves a nap. Dude, I'm really ready to just go pass out. I could nap the fuck out of a... I could kill the fuck out of a nap right now. I'm so tired. We got an hour till the main card. But it is what it is. Now I wanted to pick the other guy. I even selected around 1 KO. The action should turn up. Yeah. It's just killing me right now. I wish I was streaming for my cell phone laying in bed right now. I was 30, 26 in that. I was so tired last night after I got off stream. I forgot to put my microphone out of the way when I when I did I did all my graphics. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna text my fiance and have her go shut off the power. Private the stream and just never look back. Joey fake some okay. How big was Nate back in the day when he fought Connor at one ninety six? People Nate was like a like wasn't a star by any means, but people knew about Nate. Like people liked Nate. Nate had like a cult following, but he wasn't he wasn't that big. I thought Court McGee was next. Am I smoking crack or did I see that somewhere? Andy, you didn't miss anything, bro. It was horrible. I suffer bad, man. This post fight is going to be hard to crank out. Pause. I appreciate you guys joining me, so I'm going to stop complaining now. I'm just tired as hell because I didn't go to sleep for the last three nights, and I woke up early, and I didn't take a nap. That's what happens when, when your boy doesn't take a nap. Dude, I, I, I almost wish I would have picked Dresky. I'm telling you, Fries, you might have been on to something, bro. He's in good shape. He's in good shape. How much did he weigh in at, though? Is it Dresky or Bresky? I think it's Dresky. I've always told him to say Dresky, Lucas Dresky. They're saying Bresky. I swear I heard him say Dresky. B pronounce pronunciation as D in Russian. I don't know. Maybe it's just Dresky. Dresky. Joe, when are you going to upload 300 predictions? Hopefully tomorrow. But I can't say for sure. Damn, dude's got a rack and a half since he slimmed down. Dude, I've heard him always say Dresky. Even what's her name just said Dresky. What's he asking him for? 
So, hey, dude, show me your deck. Walter Walker is huge. Is Johnny Walker behind him? Yeah, he is. Wonder if he has a chin like uh, Johnny Walker. I know we could. He's massive. He's big. He's strong. Has decent grappling. He's got Bogdan Guskov in his corner. I believe that is. He's made it his style. He has a wife and child in Russia. Imagine he just gets Chen in the first round. So yeah, that 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 Walker Chen lives on. Uh, I forget me forgetting to take down time stamp still. They switched up the bout order. That's what happened on me. My timestamps were different. That's where I got the wrong shit. 52. Mm-mm-mm. Your referee in charge, Mark Smith. Okay, he said Dretzky. Here we go. Dude, Dretzky's looking in good shape, man. Nice leg kick from Dretzky. Another good one. Good leg kick from Dresky. Dresky's already landed a good three leg kicks. Yeah. You might have got a good pick by luck, French. On topology. Everyone loves that long. Oh, nice left hook by Dresky. Now it's Paul Felder says Bretzky. I don't even know. Dretzky. That's what this guy said. I don't know. Dude, Walter Walker's going to lose, isn't he? Dude, he's getting his calf chopped to hell. Dretzky's landing. Oh, easy takedown from Walker. I'm done. Dretzky just goes immediately belly down. Let's see if he can get up here. Mark Smith's like, watch the back of the head because he's throwing elbows. Oh, nice left hand, ground and pound. He's throwing some body shots here. He's trying to get to his knees. Dude, he went down so easy. Dude, we get it. You keep saying the shit about the shirt. I don't understand. Is that supposed to be funny? It's not true. Is that supposed to be funny? I don't get it.
Walker just controlling him here. Walker's just kind of taking off the left arm, throwing some shots up against the fence here. They're big shots. Dresky throwing little body shots. Dresky can't get his leg back. He's throwing little body. Dresky's throwing little body shots. Mark Smith's telling him to work. Well. He gets to his knees. He's trying to get up here. But Walker's just hanging on him. And he's done some decent damage with those left hands. Walker's got this double leg here. Dresky has no grappling. I think someone just ripped ass in the cage. Dresky throwing some good elbows and some hammer fist here. Oh, Walker with some big right hands, man. But Walker's just hanging on to him like glue. Dresky gets up. Mark Smith saying work, dude. What the fuck do you want, Mark? Oh, Dresky breaks out of it. That's not good for Walker. Got a minute 10 left. Dretsky is hell. What's his name saying? It? Fingers. Big uppercut from Dresky. Or, yeah. Dude, that calf of Walker is brutalized. He throws one back and it was filthy. Oh, big right hand from Dresky. Dresky's tagging him. He's tagging him. He's going to melt him. He's going to melt him. He's swarming him here. Oh, watch out for the take. Nope. He gets no takedown defense. Dude, Dresky has no takedown defense. You say he's got a wedgie? That's Walker's round, but not by much. Not by much. He's doing a little bit of damage here, too. Dude, Mark, these referees are on such power strips. Ooh. Not by much. I don't know if you're going to get lucky or not. I think Walker just barely took the first round. Second round. Yeah, but you might get lucky. Drasky's clearly way better on the feet, but has no takedown defense. Just falls over. Walker's already looking kind of tired, though, to be honest. He's sucking air. He looks like a fish, man. Yeah. Keep kick from Walker. Yeah, I think Walker's tired, man. Dresky rushing in with big shots again. Dresky just stuck his tongue out. Ooh, nice jab by Dresky. Dude, keep chopping that leg, Dresky. That leg's that leg's compromises, as Joe Rogan would say, aka Dana White. That leg's compromised the walker. You might get it. I 
Uh, is the Sacred Grove just trolling right now? Heavyweight's ass, man. Good combinations from Drusky. Another good calf kick. Oh, shoots in on a takedown. Let's see if he gets it. Pushes him against the fence here. Dude, no takedown defense. No takedown defense from Walker. From Dresky, I mean. I don't know what Mark Smith was up to. This isn't even gatekeepers, bro. Gatekeepers mean they have some type of skill. This is like a Dana White's Contender Series fight, to be honest. What is Mark Smith complaining about right now? Oh, Dresky in on a single leg now. He could have hold on. He could have held on to that and gotten it. Now Walker's looking for a guillotine. Walker's exhausted, man. Dresky got back up. Walker is completely gassed. He's breathing so fucking heavy. If Dresky could actually, Dresky just needs to keep chopping that calf, that lead calf. Oh, Dresky going after him. But they're both tired now. They're both sucking on air. He needs to chop that leg some more. Oh, good calf kick from Dresky. Stepping his tongue out. Dude, Walker is completely gassed right now. Completely gassed. He literally looks like a fish right now. Dresky just clipped him with a big right hand. The body language is not good from uh, Walker. But let's see. Spinning back fist from Walker as he's exhausted. But Dresky's tired too. Walker's getting ready to shoot a shot. I can already tell. Good uppercuts from Dresky. Oh, he's swarming him here. Walker throwing back. Lands an uppercut of his own. Dresky taking a big gulp of air. Left hand from Dresky. Rip into the body. Dresky rip into the body as he moves forward now. Jab from Walker. Oh, big right hand from Dresky. The body language from Walker is not looking good, man. He's running away. He knows he's winning. Good leg kick from Dresky. Walker throwing back. I think Walker's going to get ready to shoot a shot. But Dresky keeps firing them uppercuts. Big left hook by Walker lands. That left might have hurt him a little bit, man. Walker's throwing back. He realized I only got 30 seconds left to try to sneak back this round. Right hand from Dresky. Yeah, I think Walker's trying to steal this round at the end by like dropping him or something. Good uppercuts by Dresky. Jab from Walker. Dresky clinches up with him. I think Dresky wins that round. So it's 1-1 one, one going into the third. 1-1 one, one going into the third. Joe, what's good? What's up? But honestly, this card looks weaker on paper fight. Dude, this card is killing me right now. It's genuinely killing me right now. But I'm hoping he starts to pick up some seed. It's 
It's 1-1 one, one right now. Good leg kick by Dresky. Rough jump. He could just keep chopping that leg. Nice right hand to the body by Dresky. Nice left hook to the body by Walker. Dude, Walker looks like he's 75 years old and exhausted. Remember when people thought Walker was the guy to beat John Jones before he lost to Corey? Yes. I do. I would I I kind of thought he I was high on him as well. This fight's put me to sleep this third round. Who's winning now? Nobody really. This third round's even right now. Neither guy's really landing. Oh, nice right to the body by Dresky as he marches in. I'd say Dresky slightly out ahead after that. Leg kick from Dresky. Walker rushing forward looking for a takedown. Dresky trying to defend here, but he has no takedown defense. Dude, what is Mark Smith doing? Oh, Dresky, it's mounted. He's just squirming. Yeah, Walker's going to end up winning 29 28, probably. Walker knows he needs this round. I think Walker's just going to suck him. Oh, no, he gets to a knee. I was going to say suck him away from the cage. Oh, gives up his back. Now Walker has his back with both hooks in. Yep, Walker's going to win 29-28. He's screwed. Walker looking for a rear naked. Walker looking for a rear naked, but he doesn't have the grip hand yet. Dresky's throwing backwards, so he might end up getting clipped, caught. Dresky had no takedown defense. Honestly, his main event does nothing for me. Dude, I hate Brendan Allen, but I like Chris Curtis. Oh, Walter Walker in full mount now. Let's see if Walker fucks him up now. Imagine having that big dude in full mount on you. Big elbow from Walter Walker. Now he's looking for an arm triangle. Is he would do worse to Holland than MVP just did? Agreed. Dude, Mark Smith screaming, let's work. Dude's in full mount. Just got into full mount. Bro, if I paid to watch this, I'd genuinely be pissed. I'm genuinely pissed I'm watching for free and I could be napping. I should have napped for all the prelims that came for the main card. Walter Walker about to rub his fingers in his eyes. Hammer fist from Walker. Elbow from Walker. Dressy's nothing but ass. Oh, he pushes off. Might end up on top here. Oh, nope. Walter Walker keeps... No, he does end up on top. Dresky pushed off the fence. Yuri Glover to share style ends up on top. Walter Walker better do something here. Dresky's in side control here. Dude pressed off the fence here. Dresky's throwing shots. Walter Walker trying to get up here. Watch the back of the head. Oh, he slips out and Walter Walker ends up on top. Walker's going to get it. Walker's just drag, trying to drag him backwards. Dude's literally throwing elbows. 
Where was the clapper? Was there even a clapper? What's more likely? Bo KOs Cody first round or sub? KOs him. KOs him. I'm going to say KOs him. Felt him calling Gretzky. I didn't even hear that. Damn, nobody showed up for this car. I just realized how bad this car is. There's like 50 people here right now. That's crazy. That is crazy. I mean, it's still the prelims, but still. Um, I think it's going to be uh, 29 28 Walker. We're a small community of very humble people. Dude, I can't believe how bad this card is doing. But I figured. Who has a better chance of a finish? Charles or Armin? I think they both have a good chance. I'll say, I don't know. They're reading the decision. It's going to be Walter Walker. Lucas got it done. Lucas got it done. He didn't even think he won. Unanimous decision. That Them few shots on that reversal, I guess. They didn't interview him either. You got a robbery, Fries. Damn, it's so bright in the background right now. You look tired. I am tired. Do, 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 do. Damn. Everybody pick Brendan Allen. I look I'm looking at the picks right now. Damn, we had the exact same picks, it looks like. Except the main. Robbery, yeah. I can't believe they gave that to Dresky. I guess that reversal at the end where he did a little bit of damage there is what gave it to him. Yeah, we're getting robbed of our Saturday. I can't believe they gave it to Dresky. One, two, three. I'll be right back, boys. I'll be right back. I'm a good piss.
I'm back, boys. All right, McGee versus Morono. So, all right, here we go. I made it. Court McKee lands a head kick. Dude, it's so bright in this room right now. I just saw. Imagine Morono loses to Court McGee. That'll be funny as shit. That'll be crazy. Oh, big right hand from Moreno. I picked Moreno by first round KO, I believe. It doesn't go after him. Lands a big right hand and then doesn't even throw a single follow-up shot. It's been 15 seconds. Hasn't thrown a single follow-up shot after a big right hand. What a dumb piece of shit. Still hasn't thrown anything. Moreno smacked him with a right hand right on the chin. Never followed up, not once. Still, 30 seconds later, he still hasn't thrown another punch. Now he throws the ugliest wild strike, strike I've ever seen in my life. That's crazy. That is fucking crazy. Cracked him right on the chin. Stumbled him a little bit with a right hand, and he fucking didn't follow up. He's still now thrown two shots since then. It's been a minute. It's been a fucking minute. This shit's crazy. Kicks him in the nuts. Or maybe it's a deep kick. McCourt McGee said he's fine. That's crazy, bro. Moroner landed a picture-perfect right hand and never followed up. He's thrown like two shots since then. It's been a minute and a half now. Dude, Morona has looks like he's so uncoordinated. Like, how does Lucas Dresky look, look more uh, coordinated than you? That's wild. They got to put a fucking afternoon card on in the middle of summer or middle of spring. Good leg kick from Court McGee. Alex Murder's a bum, dude. I hope he gets slept by Court McGee after not following. He's still barely throwing anything since then. Clipped him right on the chin. Now he clips him again. Right hand. That one didn't clip him as clean. Murder is such an awkward fighter in general. Jab from Moreno. Spinning back fist from Moreno. Misses. Dude, these guys are bums. Oh, right hand from Moreno. Why does Moreno literally look like something's wrong with him, dude? Dude, they both look so uncoordinated. McKee, McGee landed some body shots. Leg kicks from Court McGee. Dude, Moreno's a bomb. So... Damn. These guys are so bad. Let body kick from Moreno. You know what's crazy? These motherfuckers genuinely think online is everything. Look, listen how much I need this dude. Ready? Look. I just banned this guy for being a fucking weirdo. I'll never see his message again. I hope he never shows up ever again. So. People like that are so weird, man. They're so bizarre. They think online's everything. They think likes and viewers, and, and they're just beyond bizarre. So I just got rid of him. I don't want him. I banned him. Straight up hidden. Gone. Never see his message again. I just want to make sure he knows. I, I don't want really to think I'm offended. I just think he's a weirdo. Body kick from Moreno, then left hand. These guys suck ass. And this card is dead, by the way. Your ass is actually facts. Wow. 
jab from Moreno. Dude, these guys suck. Caught them both. Damn. Moreno too fast. Literally garbage. I say 10 9 Morono, but just barely. Because Morono was eating leg kicks and body kicks that whole round. Straight up garbage can. What a fucking garbage can these dudes are. Bootleg streaming site you're using? Isn't working? They probably didn't want to waste their time with a card like this. Didn't want to waste their time with a card like this. Right, here we go, second round. Who's tagging me on Discord? Oh, Marona looks for a guillotine at the and McGee looks for a takedown. It looks tight. He's holding on to the fence. It's it's deep. It's deep here. He's barely surviving this. McGee might survive. He might survive this. He's using his legs to pull him down even deeper in. I can't see. I hear him breathing heavy. He's trying to get... Oh, look, there's blood squirting out. It looks like he's going to end up getting out of this. He's going to get out. Yeah, he was in there deep. So now McGee's on top, dude. Moreno loses this. I'm done watching the sport. Do you add ginger ale to your proper 12? I don't drink proper 12 or ginger ale. I feel like if you put me in there against five minutes against these guys, I survive mostly on skate. Oh, armbar attempt from Moreno. He's deep, deep. It's deep. He gets out. Dude, the con I don't know how the commentary teams pretend this is amazing. There was a fence grab on the guillotine attempt, too. Now McGee's on top, and let's see what happens here. Can McGee do some damage here now? That That's really what matters. Drink some prime in my proper 12. McGee, McGee looking for an elbow here. Not doing much damage. It looks like Marano's going to try to push off the fence here with his feet. Nope, goes back to close guard. McGee's getting some decent ground and pound in. Nothing crazy, but just doing a little bit of work here. Oh, big elbow from McGee. And then he immediately goes back to chest pressure. Dude, I didn't know Morono was so shit, man. How shit is Morono for real? How, how genuinely how shit is Morono? Derek Lewis getting main events against Rodrigo, not Cemento. I know, dude. Talk about a straight up garbage can. McGee just beating up the body here. First time I fight, I'm subbed in the first, so I'm just done with it. Hey, man. You take 100%, you miss 100% of shots. You don't take Moreno instead of trying to get up. He's trying to get a guillotine here. Doesn't look like it's close at all. Doesn't look like it's close at all. Dude, Moreno's a bomb. Big elbow for McGee. McGee's going to win this round. Nope. Oh, he finally gets back up. 
They're finally back to their feet. You miss all, dude. Marana literally looks like he's being paid to pretend that he's a fighter. He's like, hey -ah! Marana's shit. You're losing to the dead body of Court McGee. Oh, step in knee, then right hand from Moreno. He's not going to follow up. Dude's not going to follow up. Just snapped his head back with a right hand. Still hasn't thrown a single shot since. What a fucking clown looking for another guillotine. McGee breaks out of it. Dude, I'm embarrassed how bad Moreno is. I didn't know he was this bad, man. I mean, he had a competitive fight against Santiago Ponzinibbio. was winning, right? Remember? Look how bad he is, man. Court McGee's touching him up now. What's up? Yeah, this car's going to TKO me, bro. I was ready to, when I went to pee, I went and laid in my bed for a minute. I was like, let me get horizontal for a second. See if it can wake me up. I was ready to go to sleep in another room. Great finish, dude. Morono's a fucking bum. Yeah, I'd whoop these dudes. Imagine dropping around to Court McGay. That's so embarrassing. Damn, I could have skipped this card, I'll be honest. Dude, Morono's landed two big shots the whole entire fight. Gets taken down again. Oh, I thought he was going to. McGee was in on a single leg and it was deep. Oh, now they're fighting up against the fence. Good right hand by Court McGee. They break. Oh, I'm struggling right now, boys. This stream is going to be one that I look back on. I'm like, damn. I should have just went to bed. I woke up, watched the card, and did a post fight. Main event's good. Rest of the card's dog shit and on paper and on real life, apparently. You ever had a really long day at work and you, you feel like you got, like, nice right hand by Moreno? And you got, like, the last two hours left and you're, like, struggling? That's how I feel right now. You just want to get out of there. But at least in this case, the main card's coming up. So it's going to get better. So it's a little bit different. Dude, Morono lands big shots and then never follows up. Lands big shots and then never follow up. What an embarrassment, man. Has anyone else noticed that? This third round's dead even right now. And it's 1 1. So I can't tell you who's going to win. If I had to guess, I think Court McGee's going to end up winning. Because Moreno's embarrassing himself right now. Right hand misses for both guys. Mm 
Morona throwing shots that aren't coming close to landing. Bro, really giving quarter shot in this fight. Right hand by Moreno. Right hand from Court McGay. This is going to be like one of those rounds that could literally go either way. Right hand from Court McGay. Dude, I don't know how you boys are even watching this shit. And watching a, a, a somebody else talk about it. I'd be struggling. This is a shit round. I'd say Court McKee's up right now. Would you guys agree with me? Yes or no? Who's winning this round so far? Court McGee looks for another takedown. All right, come on. Spinning back kick to the body by Moreno. Spinning back fist by Moreno. All right, no more complaining. We'll complain when there's another shit fight. Court McGee looks for another takedown, gets stuffed. I think Moreno's going to lose this fight. Uppercut from McGee. I think McGee's winning this round, bro. Big right hand from Arno misses. Dude, I think Marona's going to lose. Well, excuse me. My dog came to visit me at least. Moreno wants to throw a while with 10 seconds to go and get taken down. McGee won that fight, 29-28. I think McGee won that fight. I'm going to be honest, I think it's a robber if he loses. He won two and three. Really fun fight that he never followed up on. They're showing all Morono highlights. Dude, Morano embarrassed himself, in my opinion. I mean, it was a closer round. I think they're going to give it to Morano. They should give it to me. Dude, Morano looked like dog shit. All right. What'd you guys think of that decision? I'm hyped for this next fight. Dude, them hyping up Brandon Allen makes me sick.
I think Court kind of got robbed. But I don't care. Nah, bro. You, you got wrong. I don't want you claiming that Dresky win. I'm telling you, Chris Curtis is going to win a five-rounder. Think about it. Curtis just beat Buckley not that long ago. Normally a robbery would infuriate Joe. This card's so fucking boring. He had no reaction. I just didn't care, bro. They both look like shit. I mean, it wasn't robbery, robbery, but it... what did you guys think? Did you think Court McGee should have gotten it? I thought he should have. I thought he landed about cleaner shots. Moreno landed like three shots. <laughs> Tap says I got it right, but we can take 50 off the score if you want to be petty. Yeah, if you... F I mean, it doesn't really matter one way or another, but... I was just saying, if you if you've accidentally fucked up and made the wrong pick, I understand. But in this case, you fucked up, made the wrong pick, and got it right, you pussy. It starts right now. Get to it! What are your predictions for tonight? Campbell, Bahamondes, Sherrier, Hernandez, and Chris Curtis. Does anyone feel like when you watch some of these Apex cards, does anyone else feel like you're watching like a regional MMA card? Am I crazy or is that the way? I, does anyone else feel like that? Like the energy is abysmal. The fight card and matchups are, are shit. Like, I'm dead tired right now. I'm fucked. I gotta record a post fight after this. But hell, my tired post fights are the best thing ever. I just buzz through them and I just go the fuck off the whole time too. It feels like Dana Woods contender, but the main card actually isn't bad tonight. The real question is why is Brendan Allen ranked number six? I should have streamed from my phone tonight. I'd have loved to be laying in bed right now. I just prop my phone up. He's a bit of a dark horse. Potential for UFC gold. Dude, if Curtis loses, it's going to be the worst night ever. He lost to Malcoon. Hamza got Whitaker Allen gets Apex main events. True. Did you see the promotion about Allen's daughter? I did not. I think Allen is probably a better fighter than Curtis, but he's much younger room for growth. Hey, man, that's true. He is much younger. I can't stand Brendan Allen, man. I hate Brendan Allen with a passion. We got to listen to Minty Bats. I wonder if she writes this.
I'm throwing it back to John Gooden. She's throwing it back for John Gooden. Okay. You said throwing it back. I wonder how much she gets paid. Hell, I could make up one bet a week. Oh, I don't know what her real name is. What is her real name? Minty Betts. I never even realized that's not a real name. Let me Google her. Her real name is... I can't find it anywhere. I don't know her real name. So yeah, I think Brendan Allen Chris Curtis goes over 2.5 rounds. I agree. I concur. Dude, the two judges that gave it to uh, Dresky gave the first two rounds to Dresky. All three judges gave the first two rounds to Dresky. How? That makes no sense. Damn, Vincent found that. What the fuck is her real name? I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to have to do some... Let's see if I can find her real name. Her, what is her name? Amanda or something? I'll figure it out. What is her real name? I'm done. I found this article. Who is Minty Betts and is she single? <laughs> yeah, she's definitely single for sure. Minty, Minty, Minty. I'll, I'll find out a real name for you, boys. Thoughts on the Nina Drama Beach photos? What I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that even is. Joe, why do you hate Brendan Allen? He brags about beating his three-year-old daughter and then parades her around for promotional reasons like a piece of fucking shit. <laughs> Five fights left, I believe. We just started the main card. And when I say just start the main card, the first fight on the main card is about to start. Oh, Joey, who are you getting? Are you getting married in the hot tub? Yeah. Yeah, he bragged about beating his daughter. 
So I think he's a piece of shit. So I think he's a piece of shit. He said, yeah, I want my daughter who's got a problem with it. Do something. Dude, why do I feel like Trevor Peak is about to sleep Campbell? Is he chewing fucking gum? Charlie Campbell better not fuck this up. That was a good pick by me. I feel like the majority of people in typology is picking Trevor Peak. Let me check. No, 56%. Joe's beef with Brendan Allen reminds me of a friend who picks random people to have beef with. Friend. Dude, how is bragging about your beating your two to three year old daughter not worthy of disliking someone? I mean, seriously. How is that not worthy? The fuck's wrong with you, Vincent? I just don't trust Campbell's chin. Hey, look at this little gnome, dude. Come on, get out of the way, bro. The fuck out of the way. 150, 15. Here we go. There you go. He answered you. I wasn't lying about that shit. Why would I lie about that? Leg kick from Campbell. Leg kick from Peak. Let's see if Peak starts throwing crazy wild standing hammer fist. Good leg kick from Campbell. Campbell's just lighting up that lead leg of Peak. You know Peak's going to just try. Oh, nasty calf kick from Campbell. Yeah, this fucking smaller cage is a massive advantage for Peak. Oh, right hand from Campbell, but then he gets off balance for a second off the leg kick. Jab to the body from Campbell. It's actually good. This is a good fight. Leg kick from Campbell, leg kick from Peak. Dude, Peak just fights like a fucking Kentucky State Fair main eventer. Trevor Peak definitely the Kentucky State Fair main eventer. Loading up on the right hand. Keith Peterson getting in the way. Nice calf kicks from Campbell. That'll help limit the mobility of Trevor Peak. Trevor Peak throwing wild, just squaring up. Fucking slinging shots. Right hand from Campbell. Leg kick from Campbell. Campbell's obviously wants to abuse that lead leg. Peak clinches up. During the clinch now, Peak looking for a takedown here. Dude, his legs already chewed up bad. He had Peak, the former Kentucky State Fair champion. He had a funnel he had a funnel cake wrapped around his waist. Dude, that leg's battered already. Peak looking for a takedown. Trying to ragdoll him here, but not having it. He's a good little wrestler, according to Bisbang. Campbell digging the underhook. Peak's just holding on here. Campbell's throwing little, little pot shots here in the clinch. Trevor Peak trying to foot stomp. Dude, that leg is fucking welted up. Peak gets the takedown. Let's see if Campbell gets up. Campbell gets to his knees. Well, nasty knee to the ribs. Nasty knee to the ribs, but back up and they break. Dude, that was a filthy knee to the ribs. Sneaky knee. Immediately calf kick from Campbell on the feet, too. Oh, Peak going after him. They clinch up again. Knee to the body by Campbell. They break. Jab to the body from Campbell. Trevor Peak switches stances, by the way, too. That leg's fucked up. He doesn't want to take any more damage. Peak just fighting like a madman right now. Dude, fucking big reactions from fucking Peak. Ooh, Peak rushing forward. Dude, Keith Peterson's almost gotten in the way multiple times. Can, funnel cake belt is wild, I know. 
Campbell reversed his position in the clinch here. Nasty needed the body by fucking Campbell. Oh, another nasty calf kick. Dude, Pete going after him with some jabs, though. Body kick from Campbell. Right hand from Campbell. Ooh, big right hand from Campbell. Don't get over aggressive, though. Ooh, right hand from Campbell. Campbell touching him up with the right hand. Body kick from Campbell. Campbell touching him up on the feet. But getting a little bit aggressive now, and that can backfire. Misses a, misses a calf kick. Turns around. Does a 360. Inside leg kick from Campbell's hitting that other leg now. Ooh, right hand from Campbell. Yeah, Peek's getting touched up right now. Ooh, big right hand from Peek. But Campbell avoids it. Moves out the way. Takes the center of the cage. Peek's fighting out of southpaw now. Ooh, big knee from Campbell. Ooh, another nasty calf kick from Campbell. Teep kick from Campbell. Campbell getting a little aggressive, man. It's not super smart. He pulled back, though, right as I said that. Misses a calf kick. Kicks through to the other leg. Ooh, big right hand by Campbell. Campbell's touching him up, man. Don't get in a slugfest with him. Trevor Peak looking for a takedown. Gets taken down himself. Needed the body on the way up. Whoo! You know, I just realized I haven't been looking at Twitter this whole time. I usually look at Twitter. Diego Lopez and Justin Gaethje right there. Who's this little nerd next to? Yeah, I looked for a while and there's nothing about her online. She's like a ghost. Charlie Campbell is such a grandpa name. I always tickled when. Yeah, it is a grandpa name. I thought his name was going to be Eustace. Oh, peak rushing forward, loading up on the right hand. Peak rushing forward. Oh, peak looking for big winging shots, throwing crazy wild shots. Campbell getting out of the way, though. Peak throwing wild, looking for a takedown now. Gets the back up against the fence. Stomping on the feet. All right, Campbell turns into him. Trevor's leg is fucked up for sure. Needed the body by Campbell as they break. Oh, big uppercut from Campbell. Nasty calf kick on that. Oh, another nasty. Three of them straight. Oh, peak rushing forward. Oh, shit. We just saw some asshole. Oh, my God. We just saw Trevor Peak's asshole. Campbell, like, shot into a takedown and gave him a wedgie. We saw Trevor Peak's asshole. Oh my god. Dude, we just saw some straight asshole. Dude didn't have no underwear on. What the fuck? Trevor Peak has no underwear on. We just found out in the second round. Knees to the body by Campbell. He just gets up there and shits his britches. They're in the clinch now. We just saw Trevor Peak's asshole. We just saw his asshole. How is nobody talking about this right now? Anybody just saw that? They're in the clinch right now, by the way. Peak's got him in the clinch. But, dude, Campbell was smashing the leg. Campbell's getting tired, though. Yeah, steamy Nicks. Just get up there and shit your britches. Like it's going out of style. Peak looking for a takedown here. 
Campbell's definitely tired here. Starting to starting to wane. Ooh, Trevor Pete going after him. Oh, gets taken down though. Campbell just shoots right through him as Peek's just sprinting forward, throwing big shots. Trevor Peek fucked up there, man. He fucked up there bad. He just get going up there and shit his britches. Oh, Charlie getting the full mount here. Oh, no, Peek's. Nope, he gives up his back up against the fence now. Campbell's on his back looking for a rear naked. Gave up his back. Campbell looking for a rear naked. Damn britches that had enough. Exactly facts. What fur? So Campbell's going to win this round too. Peak's going to need a third round finish. Well, there's two minutes left. Never mind. I was thinking there was less time left. Campbell's on his back. Peak's digging the hooks out here though. He digs one hook out. There's only one hook out there in a seated position up against the fence here. One hook in. Campbell looking to get this, looking to get the second hook back. They're flowing around. Okay, Peak tried to scramble out. Campbell just face cranking him here. Oh, looking for the nope. Doesn't have it. Gets the hook back in. Trevor Peak gonna try to shake him off. Okay, they're back up. Big right hand from Campbell. Oh, they almost headbutt each other. Oh, big right hand by Peak. Oh, he might have hurt him. C Campbell might be hurt here. Campbell's hurt. He might be hurt. I don't know. I can't tell. They're moving awkwardly. Peak was going after him there, man. Campbell's body language looked horrible. He might lose this round, too. Drags him down. Nope, he doesn't drag him down. Oh, big right hand from Campbell. Big right hand from Campbell again. Oh, shots to the body. Campbell going after him now. Peak looking for a takedown now. Peak gets a takedown. See if Campbell can get back up. This is going to be a hard round to score. Especially with Peak's asshole making an appearance mid-round. Campbell's looking tired, though. Fuck, I don't know who wins this round now. Ooh, Campbell needs, needs to the body here. Nasty needs to the body. Like, four or five needs to the body. They both look tired as hell. Ooh, big shots from Campbell. Gave him a two-piece. Yeah, Campbell's going to win this round. Campbell's going to win this round. They're both exhausted. Now they're taking a rest. Look at Keith Peterson holding the fence there. Yeah, I think Campbell took that round. Campbell definitely took that round. Because you got to think of the early leg kicks. Then take, then a takedown, then can some control. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's, I think Campbell took that second round. After I really thought about it, he had nasty knees to the body. He was abusing the leg early. He had big combinations after the flurry from Peak that I wasn't even sure if they landed. Good leg kick. Ooh, Peak going after him here with the body language, man, of Campbell as he looks for these takedowns. Looking like Mikhaev gets a takedown. He gets him down for a second. Campbell looking for a guillotine now. Campbell's exhausted. Campbell needs to get back to them leg kicks, man. Those leg kicks were hurting him. No. 
I've never picked Trevor Peak in a fight ever. So foot stomp by Trevor Peak. That hurt my foot. Needed the body by Campbell. Needed the body. Elbow. Ooh, nice combos from Peak. Dude, Campbell is just falling down as he's throwing shots. Don't knee him here. Weird shot where Peak's pulling his arm behind his back to get top position, but Campbell gets it back. Dude, the body language of Campbell is looking horrible right now. He's got to survive this round. He gets a takedown. Peak's tired too. He laces up the legs of Peak, but Peak looks like he's fresher here. Campbell gets his back, but Peak's going to shake him off here. He's trying to get... Oh, he gets... Oh, Peak's turning into him. Campbell just scrambles and ends up on top. I didn't think he had it in him. Campbell gets his back. Has a body triangle, but it's not the best. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. He's got the body triangle here. He's just holding on. Campbell's just holding on. He's exhausted. He doesn't have the best lock with the body triangle, though. But now he readjusts and gets it. Peak's going to wait a little bit and try to explode. Dude, that leg got chewed the fuck up. Looking for a rear naked. He might get it. Campbell might get it here. No, that's not even close. When they changed the camera angle, it wasn't close at all. They're both gassed. But, dude, Campbell better conserve his energy here because if Peak gets back up, he's got the foot to the ground here. Oh, the Campbell readjusts, gets up on top, full mount, looks for an arm triangle. He's avoiding it. All right. Now Campbell's just on his back with no hooks in. Two minutes left. Gets the hooks back in. I think he has one. Gets one hook in. Gets the second hook in. Looking for a rear naked here. Peak's not even defending. His hands are on the mat, but he's got his chin tucked. But let's say he might get it. Campbell's attacking it. Digs the underhook. Peak's going to explode up. Peak explodes up. Campbell's exhausted, man. But he's still grappling well. But if he fucks up, man, Peak can have an explosion. Peak's fighting with all his heart. He's like, I ain't going back to Kentucky State Fair. They ain't sending me back to the Kentucky State Fair for the funnel cakes. Knees to the thighs. Yeah, Campbell ain't letting go like his life fucking depends on it. Good thing Mark Smith ain't in there. He would like, work, work, motherfucker, work. Oh, Peak breaks the grip and doesn't turn around because Peak's exhausted too. Oh, right hand from Campbell. Shoots into another takedown. He's going to get it again. As, as Peak stuffs it, he's just not, he doesn't have enough. Yeah, Campbell does have the better cardio here. Bisbing's saying it right now. I agree. I thought Peak had it, but he just tried too much early. Looking for an arm triangle. Does that little I and V chain not look like a post-it note? So Charlie Campbell, 3L. Charlie Campbell, 3L. Looking like... Charlie Campbell dug deep. 10 seconds. Got his back again. Looking for a naked. Looks like he might have had it at the end there. Oh, no. He fucking trains with Aljo and them. Oh, my God. Thank you, everyone. So, yeah. Peak was exploding, man, but he just didn't have it.
No, I would not get Peaks tattoos for a million dollars ever. <laughs> yeah, for 10K, I could remove them. I don't know about that, dude. I don't know how it would look. I'd have to do some research. Thirty twenty seven. Got that one perfect, boys. Walker got robbed. What kind of cornball shit is he gonna do like he did last time? I fucking hate Aljo, bro. The Long Island team I hate. This shit is... He's exhausted, man. I, I don't mind Marab. I just don't like Aljo. I just hate the Longo team, especially after Chris Weidman recently. Can she come in here? What a must not be paying attention to what? What haven't you heard? I don't know what you're talking about. That I don't like Chris Weidman? I mean, I put out two recent videos on that. So the whole Long Island team has now pissed me off, basically. I'm surprised. I'm s Dude's like just naming celebrities right now. What a fucking weirdo. Surprised you haven't talked about the Connor thing. Post it in the bandana, Logan, Paul, BS. I, I've just seen like, um, I've just seen like, oh, coming soon. These fucking Long Island guys, man. Listen to Joey in the shower right now. Joey, early official prediction for O'Malley. Marab, Marab, third round TKO. Marab decision. I'm going to say Marab decision. I was out of light and had to make it short. My best friend's Long Island right now. Sarah Longo, Jim loves to manipulate rule sets. They're dishonest fighters. Longo was glazed and wide the other day. Yeah, dude, you can tell they're dirty, man. A lot of them are. I'm going to look up disc golf instead. Do, 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 do. It's a big weekend for the entire TKO family. Do, 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 do. Let me look up something. What do I want?
hold on. Um, I'm going to order some discs soon. All right. Elimination Chamber for the BMF. Yeah. I can't believe we saw Charlie Peak's asshole. Damn, my dog's running around like crazy out there. Damn. Do, do, do. Oh, my ear's itching. There's a couple new discs I want to buy on disc golf, so I'm just looking while we wait, while we fuck around right now. Drops. All right, what do we got next? Anasia Bahamundas versus Christos Yagos. Hold on. So sad. I love Peak, dude. I knew Peak was going to lose. Who said that? I'm done. Peak versus McKinney, the fight to make. Two guys that have slugged it out with no fight IQ. Terrence McKinney, did you see the video of Chandler lifting? No, let me go check. Where's that at? I know you sent it, but where's it at? I don't say it right now. You tagged me in it, but now I can't find it. Oh, here it is. I'm done. Dude's lifting. I'm done. Dude's a cornball. Do, 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 do.
All right. At least my predictions haven't been horrible tonight. What were people picking in the Dumont fight? I'm assuming everyone was picking Dumont. Yeah, everyone was picking Dumont because the long layoff, I assumed. Dude, Chandler lifting those weights is hilarious. Minty bets is a ghost online. Imagine crying in the apex. Let me go look. Random tab. Oh, okay, never mind. Was Charlie Campbell crying in the apex? Damn, fight's already about to start, dude. They're moving pretty good. Christos Yagos. I picked Bahamondes by second round TKO. I wasn't even paying attention to the walkout. I was looking at disc. Chris Tyone is your ref. All right, sorry, boys. I'm, I'm too busy over here. Fucking off. Baja Monday is looking old as fuck. All right, here we go. Round one. Baja Monday is pressuring. Yagos has decent power coming back. Good leg kick from Bahamundas. Oh, Yagos clipped him on the chin. Deep kick from Bahamundas. Bahamundas busted up his mouth a little bit. Oh, big uppercuts from Bahamundas. Dude, Yagos is throwing big right hands. 6-3 lightweight is crazy, man. Ooh, Bahamut is getting clipped up with the right hand, but he's throwing a good uppercuts. Yagos looking for a takedown. But he doesn't get it. Bahamanda stuffed it. Yago's got him pressed up against the fence, dude. Bahamandes might be a total fucking fraud. We'll see. He breaks out. And Yagos looks old too, man. Good jab from Bahamandes. Ooh, big left hand by Yagos. Yagos may end up winning this fight, dude. Bahamondes looks 70 years old. Ooh, nice right hand by Bahamondes. Bahamondes starting to lighten him up a little bit. Starting to find his range. Ooh, spinning heel kick from Bahamondes lands. Then spinning heel kick to the body lands for Bahamondes. Ooh, big right hand. Yagos is hurt. Big uppercut. Bahamondes swarming him. He might finish him here. He's probably going to finish him here. Left hands. Oh, Yagos trying to survive. He's trying to survive here. He got hurt. 
It was a spinning heel kick to the head, spinning heel kick to the body. Then there was a big right hand, I think it was. Yagos is still hurt. Oh, big left hand for Bahamundes. Nasty leg kick from Bahamundes, mixing it all in. Oh, big right hand from Bahamundes again. I thought he was going to finish him, man. Nice jab from Yagos. Nice jab from Bahamundes. Yagos is starting to slow down. You can see he's starting to wilt a little bit here. And Bahamundes starting to pick up the pace. Teep kick from Bahamundes. Head kick from Bahamundes misses. Teep kick. I remember when Bahamundes. Ooh, big right hand from Yagos. Bahamundes uh, heel kick Roosevelt Roberts, remember? Leg kick from Yagos. Ooh, Bahamundes throwing combinations misses. Good body kick from Bahamundas. Ooh, left hand from Bahamundas landed. Bahamundas going after him. Big right hand from Bahamundas lands. Left hand. Ooh, touching him up now. Head kick. Ooh, Yagos is done. He's done. He walks off. Ref jumps in. He was done. Head kick, slap him. Head kick slapping. That was filthy. Dude, that was filthy. Just so there's the kick to the body that landed. Oh, it was stung him with a right hand, then an uppercut. Let's we'll see the finishing. Right over the guard. That was filthy. It was a fun fight while it lasted. What's this corny music? Dude, that was a nasty finish. I picked Bahamundas, but second round TKO. If I can get it, if if I can get a decent prediction rate for this card, it's all worth it. I'm six and three so far, dude. That kick was filthy. Beside you, nice head kicks, yeah.
He's thanking everyone, God and his team. Bilal taking a selfie. I'm so happy, man. Oh, his wife is pregnant. He has some nasty head kicks today. I hope they don't. I hope they don't move too slow with the rest of the card. I dream about this, dude. He was done. The way he fell. I visualize it now. It's here. This is Bilal's last time in the octagon. He didn't even follow up. He not. Damn, why isn't this going away? Okay. Is there somebody you like? Whoever, whenever, whenever. Nesio Bahamundi. Me, mom, over here just looking at disc, thinking about what disc I'm going to add to my collection. What, ma'am? I got to order that pay-per-view soon, so I don't. Yeah. Matter of fact, let me go order that pay-per-view right now. Oh, they're going to play a cool little promo right now. Where do I order the pay-per-view at? I'm going to order it right now. Buying that shit right now and get that little dis get that little discount. Ah fuck man, I gotta log into my shit to get my Please streaming Dude, ESPN Plus doesn't let me autofill that well. I think it probably happens in the sphere. Dude, the autofill on this shit is so annoying. By the way, if you guys are planning on ordering UFC 300, you get like a $10 discount if you order now, by the way. I'm just going to order it right now. Boom, I'm ordering it. Did it order? I don't know. I hope it went through. I'm hoping Connor Chandler in the sphere. That'd be crazy. I don't know if I ordered it or not. Let me see if I got an email. Because I just ordered it and it never came, never did anything. And I'm not looking at this promo right now, which I should be watching. They showed Anderson with the broken leg. They showed that that was 129 right there. Isn't it weird? 99% of these moments I've seen. There's Kimbo. They showed Kimbo slice. 
There's Rumble. Yeah, they showed Elijah's uh, Theodore and Rumble. I think that was Evan Tanner, maybe. Tickets for the Sphere are going to be expensive as shit. There's Shane Carwin beating the fuck out of Brock, and Brock came back. I remember watching that live. That was on July 3rd. I missed fireworks for that shit. Dude, that's where I became a hardcore fan right there. That triangle choke. That Anderson Silva triangle choke is where I became a hardcore. Dude, that right hand from DC, the fact that it folded him, that was crazy. It's crazy. I've been a fan for so long. I've seen 99% of that. I don't even like fireworks, so it wasn't a big deal, but that was like the 4th of July celebration was on July 3rd that year for everyone. Unrivaled greatness. Okay, I did buy it already, but it didn't char it didn't send me an email. But I ordered it supposedly to this. It says you have access. I don't remember. I'm answering. Yeah, that is. That is confirmed. Oh, let's see if they changed the card at all. A young phenom. You're the only MMA YouTuber who's not screaming like an idiot. Like an idiot for content. Hey, man, thank you. Appreciate you. This card is so shit. I want to appreciate you. You're the only YouTuber who's not screaming like an idiot for content. What do you mean, like faking outrage? or? or... I don't know what you're saying, but appreciate you, man. Joey, did you get his funnel cake? Do, do, do people actually watch these weigh-in shows? I feel like most of you watch these weigh-in shows because they're like a simp for Sanko or something. All the others I watched, they just randomly scream like idiots. I noticed in the last few days, that's crazy. I did not know that. I just want to play games and listen to good content and not a dog guy screaming. Hey, man, sometimes on the live streams, I'll be screaming, though. So you got to forgive me for that. All right, dude, we get it. You're a clown. What did Jeremy Stevens do to Josh Emmett? Have you talked about it in a few streams? He knocked him out and then followed up with the most brutal elbow ever that fucked up Josh Emmett afterwards. But if you're talking about what I've complained about Jeremy Stevens doing, is um, he uh he pushed a guy at the weigh-ins really hard and gave him like whiplash. Shady yeah. Couldn't pay me. Jeremy broke Josh's orbital. Yeah, he followed up when he was completely unconscious. Just brutalized him. Meets Chepe. Now the pay-per-view week shows are surprisingly entertaining. I wish there was no fights next week, to be honest. I wish they skipped and then had 300 so we could have extra time. <laughs> Where's the betting lines on a weigh-in KO? Never weigh. 300 is going to be wild. I know I can't wait. I don't know what I'm going to do for my thumbnail, though. I'm going to have to, like, make my own poster. Do 
Are you screaming because the fights and funny stuff? But LEDs legit scream to keep audience attention. I feel like a lot of people just pretend to be people they're not to be more entertaining. But I guess if it gets you paid, that's what matters, man. That's just not me. This is not me, brah. Can you just make it white with a few of the 300 faces and 300 or maybe? I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do, bro. Oh, yellow canvas. I watch almost every video of you, bro. If you analyze things, you are calm and funny. But Lucas Tracy nowadays screams on every fucking video he makes. I did not know that. That's interesting. No color canvas. Dude, I hope they don't color the canvas. So taught yeah, the, the the um non stop proper twelve commercials are annoying. I keep getting the one about the robot calls too. I'm getting a corny golf commercial. Dude, I'm not even paying attention. I don't even know why I'm wearing these right now. Probably because I, I look fucking stupid because I was wearing a hat earlier and my hair's all fucked up from it. I look like a goofball. I look so tired. I'm actually awake for the main card, though. I'm, I'm deciding what... I'm ordering a couple discs. I'm, I'm deciding what I'm getting right now. <coughs> so... I'm debating about what I'm getting. But we'll see. So you're getting disc? Yeah. With a C, not a K on the end. I'm looking at what I'm buying. I'm going to place an order soon and get a couple new disc. You should just let fighters customize shorts something instead of the canvas. Dude, they're not going to. Damn, Morgan Shadiad versus Chris Chepe Merskal. I don't know if I said Chris Dos Yagos, but that's the last fight. You think Gary and Rockets will go to distance? No. Yeah, probably. Probably. I don't know yet. I haven't thought. That's why I'm fucked. I got to figure out my predictions. I should have been started early. But yeah. Chepe. Negative three, two. All right, let me see. Two forty four ten. Shadiad. All right, change the graphic. All right, boys. Time for this one. This one should be actually a good one. This was a tough fight to pick. I picked Sherrier by decision, but we'll see. He's fought a lot of bums. I picked Chepe in every fight in the UFC so far. It's the first time I picked against him. Here we go.
Good leg kick by Chepe right off jump. Ooh, big right hand by Sherrier. Sherrier is going after him. But Chepe takes it, gets us a takedown. But, oh, he might get a guillotine. He uses it in reverse. Oh, he's looking for another guillotine. Sherrier had that guillotine reversed. Almost ended up in mount there for a second. Going for it again. Chepe's now face down, throwing elbows from the from face down. They're both in a face down position. It's like a front headlock position from Sherrier, and he goes getting elbowed in the head. Now he's punching his arm. He's not even in like a choke position, but dude, he locked that one up tight. It was actually threatening. Let's see if if uh, Sherry ends up top. Dude's still looking for the guillotine here. Okay, he's in the front headlock position now, sprawl position. Now they're back to their feet in the clinch. Chepe looking for another takedown. Dude, Chepe's fucking scrappy, man. He can go all day like this. This is the first time I picked against Chepe in his whole UFC career. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. Good knee to the body against for Mariscal. Or for uh, Chepe. I'm an idiot. For Cherrier. Every time I go to say Shea the Air, I want to say Chepe. Seb. Good knee to the thigh by Chepe. Good knee to the body by uh, Cherrier. Chepe's trying to make us a dog fight because you know that's what he kind of fights he likes being in. Good knee to the body by Cherrier. Chepe just trying to grapple here. Chepe trying to grapple. Good knee to the body by Sherrier, though. That was a filthy knee to the body. Oh, Chepe looking for a single leg. Sherrier pressing on the back of the head. Dude's palming his back of his head. Sherrier's got excellent takedown defense, man. The only time he went down was, ooh, nice left hand by Sherrier. Imagine Chepe copies Dan Argetta. That'd be crazy. Ooh, head clash there. It was a massive head clash. Ooh, left hand from Sherrier. Left hand from Chepe, too. Dude, Chepe's slinging, man. Chepe shoots on a takedown now. Dude, Chepe versus Trevor Peak. I remember thinking that matchmaking was excellent. Uh, my charge for my ESPN purchase finally came through. Sherrier setting up a guillotine again. Oh, nope. No, he's not just defending the takedown now. Almost gets taken down, but survives. Dude, Chepe can keep this up, though. We'll see if Sherrier can. Watch out for an illegal elbow there. Elbows to the side of the head from Keith Peterson. What's he shaking his head at? Keith Peterson's like this. I needed that. They're in the clinch. Chepe's got him pressed up against the fence here. Chepe eats a knee to the body, dude. Now they break for a second. Clinch up again. Good knee to the body by Chepe. Chepe just got hurt by something. They might see him stumble for a second. Now he's throwing hard. Now he's looking for another takedown. Get stuffed again, dude. Sherry Air is stuffing these takedowns, digging the underhooks fast, man. Chepe got hurt by something. Did anybody see him stumble for a second? I don't know if he got what he got hit by. I didn't see it from that camera angle. Did anybody see it? Let me know in chat real quick. And he's got blood on his eye. I think he must have got clipped with something. Ooh, Chepe with a left hand. Dude, Chepe's all over him here. Sherry Aaron on a takedown now. It's a crazy pace. Front headlock position for Chepe. Oh, Sherry Aaron gets a takedown now. Don't knee him. All right, they're back to their feet. Head kick from Sherry Aaron. Ooh, big uppercut from Sherry Aaron. Chepe pressing forward. Big combinations from Sherry Air. Chepe's got that right eye busted up a little bit. Teep kick from Sherry Dude, I think Sherry Air's still going to maybe take this round. Because Chepe didn't really do a whole lot of damage. Head kick from Chepe. Big right hand from Chepe misses. Ooh, big left hand stumbles him. Crazy shit from Chepe. 
I think Sherrier takes that round, but I'm not confident in that. Great first round. <clears throat> I think Mar I think uh Mariscal loses round one. I think he got touched up a little bit too much. And then he just hung out in the clinch a little bit. And I think he might even got rocked at one point, but I got to see a replay on it. But it was close. I wouldn't trust the judges to score it either way. Ooh, big right hand by Sherry. I might have rocked him. Nope. I thought he might have stumbled him again, dude. Maybe it's just Chepe kind of acting a little funky, man. That right eye of Chepe is kind of busted up. Good leg kick by Chepe. Chepe slowing down too. Good deep kick from Sherrier again. Double jab from Chepe misses. Oh, big one too from uh, Sherrier. Kind of stumbles him. Yeah, he's just way more cleaner on the feet, man. Oh, nice body kick from Chepe. Oh, right hand lands for Chepe. Body kick from uh, Sherrier. Jab from Sherrier. Ooh, big right hand misses from Sherrier. Ooh, nasty head kick from Sherrier. And the commentary doesn't even mention it, man. That's crazy. A head kick just landed flush. Good leg kick from uh, Chepe. But he's not shooting on the takedowns nonstop anymore. I think he's realizing I can't keep this up. Good inside leg kick from Sherrier. Teep kick from, or body kick from Chepe. It's a great fight. Ooh, right hand to the body by Cherrier. Ooh, right hand, Cherrier as well. Dude, he's busting him up. Landed left right behind it too. Missed left hand from Chepe. Good inside leg kick from Chepe. Good outside leg kick from Chepe. Head kick from Chepe partially gets through. Ooh, big right hand from... Sherrier misses, and he gets back up after he kind of stumbles to the ground. Eats a big right hand. Chepe going after him. Chepe landed a couple clean shots there in the in the exchange. Ooh, Sherrier rips to the body. Ooh, nice combination from Chepe. Good leg kick from Chepe. Good right hand from Chepe. Ooh, nice left hand from Chepe. Is Sherrier starting to fade a little bit in the second round now? Just a close round so far. Ooh, nice shot to the body from Sherrier. Ooh, left hand from Sherrier, right hand up top. Busting him up, dude. Chepe's bleeding from both sides now, I believe. Leg kick from Chepe. Both throw a jab. Ooh, rip to the body from Sherrier. That was a nasty left hook to the body from Sherrier. Dude, it just seems like Sherrier has more sting on his punches in general. Yeah, Chepe's bleeding from both sides now. Sherrier walking him down a little bit. I thought he might be fading. Teep kick. Body kick from Chepe. Jab from Sherrier. Ooh, nice left hand from Chepe over the top. Another teep kick, but it's kind of parried away. Ooh, big right hand from Sherrier and then left right behind it. 
Off balance after missing a leg kick from Chepe. Good jab from Sherrier. Body kick from Chepe. Ooh, right hand from uh, Sherrier. I like Sherrier striking, man. It's looking clean. He's slowing down, though, for sure. He's not looking as clean. Good leg kick stumbles Chepe backwards. Ooh, nice right hand by Chepe, but it just doesn't... Sherrier just eats him with no reaction at all, man. That's crazy. Takedown from Sherrier. It's like a trip. Now has his back. Took him out. Took him down. Doing a little bit of damage here. Taking the back. Looking for... Chepe trying to scramble up. Scrambles back to his feet, but he still has his... Still has the back, drags and Sherrier drags him back down. Chepe scrambles, gets back up, lands the left hand on the way up. Throws a slap. You see Chepe throwing a slap there? There's another one. Oh, head clash there. Oh, front kick lands for Chepe. He gets taken down now. Dude, he's throwing slaps. Is his hand broken? Does anyone see... You think that's what's going on? Anybody else seeing that? I'm tweeting that out right now. He's compromised. Chepe needs a finish. Here we go, third round. He does have Gaethje like movement. Chepe didn't get injured. It was Jack Jenkins got injured. They both appear very injured. Now, have you been seeing a lot of these open hand slaps and he's landing a couple of them? If they would have been punches, dude, he could have slept him. I doubt it because the power disadvantage, but still. There was a nice front kick that landed at the end when he got slammed. Marisco getting backed up. Head kick from uh, Sherrier misses. Left hand from Chepe. Chepe's eyes are busted up. They're not super swollen, but you can just tell they've taken a lot of damage. Yeah, Paul Felder just said it, man. What if that was a closed fist when he's throwing these open hand shots? Look at this dude just leaning back with the hands on the back of the head. Anybody saw that in the crowd? He's throwing open hand. I wonder if something's wrong with his hand. He's compromised. Leg kick from Chepe. Leg kick from uh, Sherrier. I wouldn't trust the first round to be scored for Sherrier. So he's got to win this third. Oh, nice left hook from Chepe. Right hand. Chepe going after him. Chepe throwing wild. He might have hurt him. Oh, they're slinging. But Sherrier ducks on her easy takedown. What a beautiful takedown. Chepe posting up on a hand, but it was a beautiful takedown. I don't know if it even counts. Okay, now he's down to a hip. A lot of those shots didn't land either. All right, Sherrier has kind of cemented the position on the ground here. We'll see if Chepe scrambles up. It looks like Sherrier really wants to keep this position. He's not getting too crazy and wild with shots like he has in the past. Controlling him here. Dude, the way Sherrier was dodging, ducking, dodges, boom, dunked on, under, changed the angle, and took him down. 
He's got Chepe on his back now. He's throwing little body shots here. Chepe throwing from the bottom instead of trying to get up. Chepe was slinging some heat too, man. Chepe boxing up the ears, open hands, body shots from Sherrier. He's in half guard here. Just piecing up the ribs, getting his ears boxed up though. You can see Sherrier just wants to cement this position, man, and win this round. Chepe trying to scramble up now, but about to give up his back here. But Chepe may end up on top here. We'll see. Sherrier gets to his knees now. Chepe looking for a guillotine now. He can knee him here. All right, now they're back to their feet. They're in the clinch here. This is good for Chepe. They're both ripping body shots. It's going to be an interesting scorecard here because this round is interesting. Oh, Sherrier rolls for a guillotine. It's tight, but it, Chepe's going to fight the hands here. It's tight. It's tight. But he's, he's out. Now they're in a the sprawl position, but Sherrier's in the front headlock. Or he's got the front headlock. Dude, he had it tight there, but it was just Chepe was in the right position to defend it. Let's go, Chepe! Oh, Chepe ends up on top now because Sherrier hung on to that guillotine and a minute left. This could decide the fight here, too. If, if Chepe can do some damage from the top here. Oh, Sherrier about to sweep him, though. But he better watch out. He might end up in... Oh, Chepe almost ended up in full mount. Why does it look like a post-it note on the ground there? Sherrier looking to sweep him. He's eating some damage here. Sherrier ate, some, ate a couple punches there on the ground. Now he, he's eating some shots. Chepe throwing some shots here that you could win him this round. Sherrier trying to scramble here in a weird position here. They're all tangled up here. Ten seconds. Chepe just throwing shots. Sherrier trying to scramble, eating some shots here though. That could steal him the round at the end there. That's probably Chepe's round. And with that first round, you never know. I think I think Sherrier should get the win, but you never know. I scored the last round for Chepe. I think I think Sherrier should get it. 29-28. This robot shit. I think it's 29-28 for uh, Morgan Shaddy, yeah. But we'll see. If they keep saying Jim frickin' Miller, I'm going to throw up. Chaffin may get it one and three, dude. I wouldn't trust the judges. It should be 2-1, Sherry, I agree. It's going to be split decision, isn't it? I'm telling you. Split decision right now. Split decision, yup. Thirty twenty-seven 30-27 share here. 29-28. Chepe got it done. Chepe gets it. I don't think he should have. 
But those last, those literally last like 10, 15 ground and pound shots stole him that third round. I don't think he should have gotten it. He lost the first round. All he did was hold on. I like Chepe too. That first round, I thought he lost, man. Damn, my, I was hoping to brag about my 100% Chepe pick rate. I knew they were going to somehow fuck that one up. I knew they were going to fuck that one up. Sherrier should have won. I don't think it's a brutal robbery, but I think Chepe lost. Yeah, I thought Chepe lost as well. I don't think it was like the worst robbery ever, but I think he lost pretty clearly. Chepe Medesca. So. Let's go Damon Jackson and his old hairline. Yeah, that's facts. So... All right, come in. Chepe lost one and two, dude. Chepe lost one and two. He didn't do shit in one. He didn't do shit in one. But try to grapple. So. Pain level shadow boxing from Hernandez. I wasn't even looking, bro. I got fucked. <laughs> Said Saud. Yeah, I forgot when he KO'd Benil. Damon Jackson and his new fucking found hair, man. A finish over him would mean a lot to me. We'll see. Here, Sherry, mid-early third round, which is why he took it to the ground. Not to mention Sherry got matched with the striking. So Chippy started winning the ground and pound game. Are oh, you explaining it to the other dude? Yeah, I thought Chippy took round three. So. <clears throat> The leech 
always brings. Then the second was clear Mariscal. But if you scored round two for Chepe, you're a fucking idiot, bro. Round three was Chepe. That's it. Sherry are clearly one round two. So. Can't believe Judge gave it 30-27, Chepe. It was 30-27, Sherry Air. What do you know about Cody Brundage? That he's a bum? Yeah, it was 30-27, Sherry Air. Which is... I wouldn't have scored that either. I'm going to look at this. She got finished by a fucking knee to the body. What a puss. When has he ever fought? <laughs> he fought Jacob Malcoon. Yeah, I hate the Apex as well. Should have been 29, 28. Shady, yeah. Is there a chain plant? Damon and Mythical Fire? I don't know, dude. In the last fight, he looked like he had new shit. And then all of a sudden, he changed up. Do, 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 do. Hell, if this shit's over before 8.30, I'll be pumped. I'll be pumped. You see John Jones acting a fool again? I did. It's a tricky situation because who knows what actually went on. But it looks shitty as hell. All right. Time for Alexander Hernandez versus Damon Jackson and his new hairline. Dude, he must have heard the videos and decided to get a new transplant. But last fight, he looked like he had a hair transplant in between and then came out and looked different. Dude, the hairline is fixed, man. That's crazy. Congrats to him. That's crazy they can even do that anymore. So three thirteen. All right. Let's see if I get screwed. I thought I was going to kill it on picks this week. But instead, I'm just up shit's creek weed at a paddle. We're all poised for a maximum.
Here we go. First round. I picked Hernandez by KO, but Hernandez already looking wonky on the back leg, man. Does not like Hernandez. <laughs> I had a cough after that. That was weird. Yeah, Neil Magny wants to talk to Damon Jackson. How are they not even talking about the hair? Nice leg kick by Hernandez off the jump. Fuck, there's only one more fight after this. Sweet. Head kick by Hernandez blocked by Damon Jackson. You guys are really starting to piss me off. Facts. These guys are really starting to ruin my fucking night. Is it one that what he said? I don't remember exactly how he said it. Ooh, nice right hand by Damon Jackson. Hernandez just squatting down the whole fight. Dude, they both look like shit right now. This is a co-main. Ooh, nice leg kick by Damon Jackson. Ooh, right hand from Damon Jackson, left hook from Hernandez. Nice leg kick from Damon Jackson. Neither guys really landed super clean. Damon Jackson looks for a takedown, gets a, gets a leg and a kick, gets right back up. Got him down for a split second, but Hernandez jumped right back up. Now he's in the clinch. Got his back. Damon Jackson wins. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Shut up, Congressman. Shut up. You leave Damon Jackson out of this. He's probably going to win. Damon Jackson's about to take his back right now. Hernandez trying to fight the grip here. Knees to the thighs from Damon. Hernandez broke the grip. Now he's about to turn into him. Turns into him. Still in the clinch though. About the reverse position. Reverses position. Puts Damon Jackson against the fence. Damon Jackson sticking his fingers up his ass. Left hand from Damon Jackson as they break. Ooh, big left hand from Hernandez. Another left hand from Hernandez. Yeah, they just showed Trevor Peak's asshole. Hernandez clearly has a power advantage for sure. Load it top to bottom. If they don't stop saying Jim frickin' Miller, this is the corniest shit I ever heard. These dudes running around with the camera, too, for a camera angle we never see. Damon Jackson is throwing the pussiest knees I've ever seen in my entire life. What is going on right now? Damon Jackson's gonna win this round just clinching. Now they're in the clinch. Let's see if he can do some damage here. Hernandez landed a little shots in, in the clinch. Now he's about to get taken down though. Oh, he's defending. Oh, he gets picking up and slammed. Hernandez looking like he's starting to get tired here, too. Now they're just fighting. They're both kind of... Damon Jackson's probably going to take this round. It's close, though. Hernandez gets up. Cl 
close round. First round is usually Hernandez the best round. These are the kind of cards that make you hate the sport. I'm with you, bro. Use your feints. All right, round two. That first round was close. That first round could go either way. I think Damon Jackson just edged it out with his control time and a little bit of damage in the clinch and whatnot. And Hernandez didn't do enough on the feet. He landed a couple big shots, but nothing crazy. Hernandez is bleeding from the nose now. And as Hernandez throws calf kicks, as they're saying he shouldn't be. Hernandez, I think Hernandez is a rest, man. Doesn't seem like he's gotten any better, but... Hernandez has been around for a long time. Right hand from Hernandez lands. It was a good right hand from Hernandez. Teep kick from Damon Jackson. Bloody nose has got us up. Damon Jackson backing him up against the fence. Dan, the apex cage is way too small, man. Good left jab from Hernandez and leg kick from Jackson. This is going to be a close fight, man. I can just tell this is going to be one of those drag them, fucking kind of boring decisions that you, we don't know who truly wins at all. Oh, left hand from Jackson. Hernandez hated though. Ball Felder screaming at the top of his lungs. Hernandez just can't find his hands, man. They're not landing. Damon Jackson's out striking you on the feet, bro. That's crazy. That's wild. Right hand from Hernandez. Oh, left hand from Hernandez. That was a good left hand. Back Jackson up a little bit. Right hand from Hernandez, but mostly blocked, I think. Damon Jackson just threw a kick and then looked step weird afterwards. Leg kick from Hernandez. Yeah, we're halfway through the second round. I think Jackson's up on this round. Nice leg kick from Jackson, but a left jab from Hernandez. Body kick from Jackson. Big right hand by Hernandez. Good step in knee by Damon Jackson. Ooh, nice left hand by Hernandez. Hernandez has landed a couple heavy shots this round. Jackson's just been a little bit more active and landed those leg kicks that have been defective. Light kick from Hernandez. Doesn't seem to have the same effect. Damon Jackson looking for a takedown. He's going to get it. He gets it. There you go. That's fucking Hernandez going to need to finish now. Because it was close. I edged 
I, I thought Damon Jackson just barely edged ahead, and now he gets a takedown. So. Mm. They're just in a st stalemate right now. Crazy. Break the grip, walk away. Now he's taking the back of Hernandez. Hernandez tries to stand up. That's Jackson's round, man. Damon Jackson looking for a rear naked. Nope. Throw some shots instead. Snatches up a rear naked, but doesn't have the grip hand yet. Good shots from Jackson. Oh, good shots. Clearly Jackson's around now. Yeah, Hernandez sucks ass. Every time you take him, try to take him down. There were clean shots on the back, Lamel. Were they? I mean, they were. <laughs> I think that's a sarcasm. Towards the end, he was just kind of flailing. But there was a couple that were decent. Is anyone else ashamed that this is a, a co-main event? Oh, right hand drops Damon Jackson. Hernandez on top. Elbows. He's smashing him with shots here. Dude, Terzal keeps saying watch the back of the head. They, none of them were even in the back of the head. Now he's taking the back. Hernandez looking to take the back and strangle him. Now he's got an arm triangle. He's got an arm triangle. He, he's got a head arm triangle. Oh, no, he's not getting it. What's Damon Jackson talking to here? Oh, he might get it. He cinched it back up. Hernandez might get this. Nope, Damon Jackson. Okay, he's in full mount, though. Dropped him. Yeah, banger matchup. Dude, Herzog keeps saying back of the head. None of those were to the back of the head at all. Good knee on the way out. Oh, left hand from Hernandez. Hernandez going after him now. Jackson spamming takedowns. Oh, he might get it. Oh, no, Hernandez defending, digging underhooks. Defense. Fighting like his life depends on it to stay up because Jackson's hurt. Hernandez needs to disengage here. Knee to the body from Jackson. That hair is starting to thin up. Hernandez now looking for a takedown. Oh, weird takedown where Jackson now ends up on the back. That's horrible for Hernandez. There's only one hook in, though. But, oh, Jackson just slides on the top and now has both hooks. Fucking Hernandez, dude. Fucked up bad there. And now he's flattened out. Hernandez trying to shake him off the top now. He gets standing up. He's trying to shake him off. He's twerking for us. Oh, yeah, shake that ass, shake that ass. Oh, yeah, shake that ass. Shake that ass, Hernandez. Give us that Trevor Peak action. Yeah, shake that ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna, he might shake him off here. Oh, yeah, shake that ass. Twerk for us. Oh, he's out. He shook that ass out of a bad situation. Now he's on the back of Damon Jackson. No, he's not. Never mind. Now Damon Jackson's in on a single leg. Dude shook that ass. 
Yeah, they're both gas now. Dude was shaking that ass. Oh, yeah, work it for me. Work it for me. Hernandez twerked his way out. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Dude was straight up twerking for us. Was he not? Am I wrong? Who's willing to push it, boys? Body shots by Hernandez. Hernandez is going to take this round. They're in the clinch here. Hernandez trying to get his back off the fence here. He was like, oh, shit. Dude was throwing it back. I'm done. Jamin Jackson just straight up holding on here. His corner looks frustrated, man. Herzog's like, you guys got to work, you motherfuckers. You're stalling out the rest of the... Damon Jackson's just stalling it out here. Punch him in the dick, man. Hernandez could have finished him, bro. <laughs> Yeah, Hernandez is going to lose 29-28. They're just stalling out right now, dude. Damon Jackson's just holding on. He hasn't ungripped his hands in the last three minutes. Herzog should have broke him up. This is this last two minutes have been shit. I hope Damon Jackson loses, man. Now he wants to throw... Yeah, it was shit. Dude, Hernandez fucked up. Damon Jackson is so good. Yeah, he's so good. I think it's 29-28 uh, Jackson. Split decision, boys. I'm calling split decision. First round is going to be the deciding round. Two, obviously, Jackson won. Third, round two, they're saying he landed more strikes. That's crazy. All right, here we go. 30-27 Hernandez? What the fuck? 29-28 Jackson. 29-28. Damon Jackson got it done. That's the right call. That's the right call. 30-27 Hernandez.
neck and neck. How the fuck they scored at 30-27? You guys settled it? He's fighting. We're doing. He's fighting. We're good. I just can't have a good night of picks ever. I just get fucked left and right. Fucking Mullins fucked it up. Walker got robbed. Sherrier got robbed. Damon Jackson almost got robbed. They showed Jamal Hill and he's looking off to the side. Dude, I don't know. The fight made his hairline look messed up after the fight. Time. Oh, fuck. If the main event does me in, I'm going to be heated, bro. I'm going to be heated. Might, might, Max might actually get brutally code. I agree. I'm with you, bro. That's crazy. So, yeah, he took the first night fight on short notice, too. Can't believe 300 is one week away. I know. I wish it was two weeks away, though. Very excited for your three UFC 300 predictions. I know. Me too, dude. I got to figure them out, though. Curtis has regressed since then. He don't cut that pop anymore. I disagree. He literally KO'd Joaquin Buckley, who now has a win over the dead body of Luke. Brandon Allen's been training on his three-year-old daughter. Brandon Allen showing up with his crew. Brandon Allen has two daughters? Or is that his wife? She looks young as hell, but I guess he's young. How old is Brandon Allen? 28?
just a reminder, Brendan Allen bragged online about beating the girl on the right. I don't like Allen because you don't mostly. Dude, I fucking hate Brendan Allen with a burning passion. I'll never like Brendan Allen no matter what he does. He's a fucking clown, man. I always find him annoying. He calls for a title shot after every fucking win. So, oh, I beat up Paul Craig. Give me a title shot. He, if he beats Chris Curtis, he's going to call for a title shot. Excuse me. And also, how the fuck is he ranked number six, man? What a joke that is. I just know just the way tonight's going, Brendan Allen's going to fucking win. I picked Curtis in the first fight, too. Who remembers that? Dude, Eric Nixit got a fucking hair implant, too. Is that Saddy Boy Sai, whatever the hell his name is? Yeah. It's like a badger. I have no idea about the hat. Yeah, Eric Nixit got them hair plugs too, bro. I see that. Damn. The leech is back in the wind calm. Why does Nick Sack have a black haircut? I don't is that a black haircut? What do you mean by it? So what what makes that a black haircut? I don't know. Damn Curtis just dropping it right now. Bro's twerking for us. I remember I picked Chris Curtis to beat Brandon Allen on short notice. Motherfuckers thought I was crazy. Big opportunity for Chris Curtis to fight a guy he's already beaten. The Francis Money got his hairline back. That's facts. <laughs> I'm going to tweet something like that. Let's see. Francis and Ganu fumbled the bag so hard that Eric Nick sick got his hair back Brendan all in Allen fuck Brendan all in Allen will you make a video about the Jones situation probably I want to wait for more information, but maybe. I want more information, but maybe I'll just make it without it more information. Depends. Probably tomorrow. I don't know. I got so much 300 to do, but yeah, I have to probably. I probably have to. I don't feel like I can't not. We'll see about when because I'm exhausted. I was like 11 and 2 in the UFC. Okay. I fucking hate Brandon Allen, dude. He reminds me of an annoying version of Malibu's Most Wanted, dude. He's literally Malibu's Most Wanted. Just seeing the JJ news now. Jeez, yeah.
only losses are KOs to Strickland and Curtis, and hopefully another KO to Curtis. I really don't think Allen's good, dude. As less Curtis just completely shits the bed, I think he wins this fight. I'm pretty, I'd like 65% confident Curtis gets it done. I don't like that it's short notice, but he did it on short notice before. That's what made me pick him. Fuck. Main event of a sheet car, but we got a decent main event. Dude, I hope I hope Curtis wins. I'm gonna be heated. Test Strike choosing of something seems way more plausible than some lady in the NBA Finals bathroom. Test Strike choosing of something seems way more plausible than somebody in the NBA Finals bathroom. You think so? I don't think so. I think it's about the same. <laughs> Make some noise if you are ready. I don't think he needs the same speed, dude. Brendan Allen has garbage striking, man. Damn, his team owner said, fuck it, we're out. Dude, I'm going to be heated if fucking Allen wins. I hate Allen, but I also want to get my pick right. All right, let's see what happens. 347 time. Dude, him constantly like promoting... What does a tester have to gain money, but also gambling job, woman's bathroom, ain't that big of a risk? Okay. But yes, money. But either way, I, I'm not saying I don't believe him. I'm just saying I, I wish we had more info. Please fucking Curtis get this done. I have a feeling I'm going to get shit on here somehow. I think Curtis gets it done. Here we go. Allen's striking sucks ass, man. But it has improved. Good body kick by Brendan Allen right off the jump. And it's five rounds. Deep kick from Brendan Allen. Curtis going after it right away to the body. Right hand from Brendan Allen. Allen looking good early. Let's just let this wait until it gets to later rounds. <sighs> oh, no. Allen looking for a takedown here after a missed punch from, from Curtis. On his back already. No. Horrible situation to get into right away. With one minute in. Brendan Allen just ducked under a punch. Brendan Allen's got the body triangle here. Four minutes to work, too. Curtis throwing punching backwards, but that ain't ever good. Curtis is going to try. Hopefully, that Brendan Allen goes to switch that lock, that body triangle, and then he turns into him, hopefully. This is such a shitty spot to be in so early. And this Brendan Allen's not exerting too much energy either from this position.
Oh, and he does it. Yes. Let's go. He turns into him. Up kick from Brendan Allen right away. Curtis lets him up. Let's go. Brendan Allen tried to get him to jump back down there. Curtis turned into him. That's good. Ooh, big elbow from Brendan Allen. Dude, Allen's looking pretty clean, man. The jab from Curtis. That was a shitty situation to get into early. But just keep making sure it goes late. Make sure it goes late. Damn, Allen looked like shit there with that kick. Come on, if you're going to give me one... Ooh, left hand from Curtis. Good elbow from Brendan Allen again. Good leg kick by Brendan Allen. Brendan Allen's doing well on the feet right now. Good body kick from Brendan Allen. Ooh, right hand from Brendan Allen. Curtis backing him up a little bit. Those body kicks of Brendan Allen have been good. Oh, nice left hook to the body from Curtis. Oh, nice combinations for Curtis up against the fence here. Oh, nice right hand from Allen. Oh, right hand from Allen. Yeah, Allen's kicks have looked good. Oof. Apparently there might have been an eye poke there or something, but he said I'm good. Oh, nice left hand by Curtis. Let's go. Come on. Just don't get clipped. Nice right hand. Curtis pressing forward. Deep kick from Allen. Oof. oof. Get, get to the later rounds. Oh, nice right. Allen's landing that right hand, man. Head kick from Brendan Allen. Blocked by Curtis. 10 seconds. Oh, ripped to the body by Curtis. Curtis didn't complain. He said, I'm good. Cheap kick from Curtis to end the round. Alan never said he beats his young child. He only says he believes discipline unless I'm missing something. Catch me up. No. That's not what he said, dude. He said, I beat my child. Do something about it. I whoop my child. Do something about it. So, if you're beating your three-year-old daughter, I don't, I don't care in what capacity it is. You're a piece of shit. So, I'm not into defending that at all. Second round. Fights on, second round. Good guy, bad guy, trading barbs on ESPN. We don't give a fuck. Head kick from Allen, blocked by Curtis. Jab from Allen. Ooh, left hook from Curtis almost lands, but it misses. Curtis pressuring. Nice oblique kick from Allen. That right hand of Allen's landing, man. Blocked that time. Nice left hand from Curtis. Curtis backing him up a little bit here. Surprised Allen hasn't shot yet. Ooh, ooh, nice right hand by Curtis. That right hand by Curtis 
kind of clipped him a good bit, stung him a little bit, right on his nose. Keep going, keep going late. Curtis piecing him up a bit. Good out, good elbow by Allen. Ooh, big head kick by Allen, blocked by Curtis though, right on the forearms. Yeah, that was a nice right hand by Curtis. Ooh, right hand by Curtis again. Left hook by Allen. Come on. Jabs from Allen. Right hand from Allen lands. That's a good right hand by Allen. They just zoomed in the camera angle randomly. Oh, Curtis ripped to the body. And he's backing Allen up quite a bit. Oh, he stuffs a takedown. That was an ugly shot from Allen, man. Allen's not liking the pressure left hook from Curtis. Come on. Give me 2-0 against Brandon Allen for Chris Curtis picks. Oh, nice right hand by Allen. Oh, nice right hand by Allen. They're getting, getting in the box in here. They're throwing down a little bit here. Ooh, there was a nice left hand by Allen. Backing Curtis up now. Elbow from Allen. They're in the Muay Thai clinch now. Ooh, big right hand from Allen. All right, they're back to the center. Ooh, nice left hand by Curtis. Left hand by Curtis again. That was short left hand. They're talking to each other a little bit here. Ooh, left hand from Curtis just misses. Brendan Allen keeps pointing and shit. Let's see. Ooh, nice leg kick from Curtis, which he hasn't mixed any in at all. Brendan Allen keeps waving him off. Dude, Allen's body language is telling me, dude. He's starting to feel some of these shots. Good knee to the body by Allen. It's a good fight. It's a good stylistic matchup. Ooh, uppercut from Allen. Or uppercut from Curtis and left hook from Allen. Nice jab from Allen. Left to the body from Curtis. And then Allen tripped along the side of the cage. Ooh, ripped to the body. Ooh, nice combo from Allen. Ooh, nice right hand from Curtis. Dude, Allen's looking up at the clock, boys. Dude, Allen was looking up at the clock. I'm still not like super confident or anything. He can get clipped here. Because Allen's still looking good. Allen's starting to press forward a little bit here. Left hand from Curtis. Jab from Allen. Left hand from Curtis. Ooh, he almost threw a... Ooh, nice left to the body from Curtis. Left hand from Curtis. Ooh, right hand. Dude, Allen's striking. starting to slow down. Allen's starting to slow down, boys. Ooh, nice left hand by Curtis. Come on. Ooh, big right hand from Allen. Almost lands. Ooh, big right hand from Allen. But Curtis just eats it. Left hand from Curtis. No, I want Curtis to win. I picked him. But I'm telling you, I have nice shot to the body by Curtis. Ooh, right hand from Curtis. That's Curtis's round, boys. That's Curtis's round. That's 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 Curtis's round there. Yeah, they said.
Dude, Allen's starting to look tired. They said he won that round, dude. That's fucking delusional. Round three. Yes. Come on. I picked Curtis third round TKO. They told Allen they won the round. I heard him. That's, there's no way Allen won that round. Well, and what, where? Where did he win that round? Body kick from Allen. And dude, Allen was looking up in the clock last round. Left hand from Curtis. Nice jab from Allen. Allen's still the favorite. Nice right hand by Allen. Let's see. Oblique kick from Allen. Nice left hand from Curtis. Dude, you can tell there's a power advantage from Curtis. Dude, Brendan Allen keeps shaking off every big shot. Allen throwing some combinations, lands the right hand. Dude, I think Curtis is going to land that left hand on the end of a combination one of these times. It's there when he exits out. If he press, takes a step forward and throws that left hand. Right hand from Allen lands. Ooh, nice good elbow by Allen. Allen pulling the... Ooh, nice right hand by Allen. Allen pulling the fucking Chris Wyman. Ooh, Curtis lands the left hand. Curtis got his hands down low now. Curtis ripping the body. Right hand by Curtis. Let's go. Ooh, Allen keeps looking for that elbow. Step in elbow from Allen again. He's clinching up. They break. Ooh, almost a, almost a cup shot there. But nobody... Uh, ooh, nice rip to the body by Curtis. Come on, break him. Break him. Eye poke. It was an eye poke. Curtis just got eye poke. Bad. No, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no. And this gives Allen time to rest, too. He said he's fine. But this gives Allen a chance to rest. You see him sitting down over there now. I don't know what... He, oh, there he went. Yeah. Curtis doesn't want to get a break. He wiped it on Mark Smith's shirt. They would take... Dude, because Allen's getting time to rest. This is fu This is fucking Chris. That gave Allen a time to rest, man. 251. Allen went over and sat on the side. Nice right hand to the body by Curtis. Curtis like, give me a towel, give me a towel. They didn't give me a towel, so he took the ref's shirt and wiped his eye on it. He knows, dude. The stamina is on his side. Right after I mentioned Wyman, too. Head kick. Head kick from... Oh, Allen stumbled a bit, but it's just... You missed the eye poke. It was after where you thought it was. He kind of swatted away at him. Oh, nice right hand by Allen. Right, left hook to the body from Curtis. Oh, big left hook. Curtis Allen, Allen's hurt. Allen's hurt. Allen's hurt. Yes, big knee by Curtis. Big right hand by Allen. Allen gets a takedown. Curtis, don't give up your back. Oh, he hurt him and then gave up his fucking back. Now they're standing up. Damn it. He hurt him badly. He had him wobbled there. Fuck. He gave up his back, man. He got aggressive. Stop talking to your corner, man. Fuck, man. He had him hurt bad. He was wobbled, man. And Curtis got over aggressive and got taken down. This is going to wear down Brendan Allen, though, holding here.
He's standing up with Brendan Allen's on his back. They're just leaning up against the fence here. Yeah, that's probably what he does to his three-year-old daughter. He got hit hard and slipped. No, dude, he was rocked. He started, like, wobbling. 100% wobbled. I think Curtis still takes this round now, too, because he hurt him bad. Twenty eight seconds left, by the way. He keeps looking for the rear naked, but he's not getting it. He finally lets go. All right, they finally break. Allen let it go because he was tired. That's I think that's Chris's round, though, still. But it's close. Alan's tired, man. Let's see. There was a shot that really fucking hurt him. No, it was this one. It was left hand. Right on the chin. Look, he was wobbled there. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. You got to give that to Curtis. Round four. All right. They're hugging out now. Allen's more tired for sure. Oh, left hand from Curtis. Let's go. Brandon Allen's tired, man. Brandon Allen's tor- corner was telling him he's tired too. Dude, Curtis just got over aggressive and gave his back. Ooh, right hand for Curtis just misses. Curtis is backing him up against the fence. Curtis is going to get robbed. Oh, God. Jab from both guys land. Good leg kick from both guys. Left hand from Curtis. Ripped right to the body. Hurt him to the body. Why does Brent Allen keep looking to the ground? Oh, right hand from Curtis. Dude, I thought he hurt him to the body the way Allen was like looking at the ground. Ooh, nice jab. No, that was a jab. I thought that was a jab on that one. Let's see. They stop it for an eye poke. Brendan Allen got eye poked apparently. Mark Smith's looking up at the ref. That's a jab! That's a fucking jab! Start the fight back up! Start it back up! Start this shit back up! Start this shit back up! He said you gotta fight! It was a fucking jab! Dude took a break! It was a fucking punch! I knew it! That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit. Oh, that's fucking bullshit, man. Fucking Bruno Silva can't get a break at all, but this dude gets a break from a punch. It was 100% a punch when they just showed the replay. Yeah, he got he got beat up with a jab, had an eye problem, and got a fucking time to recover, and he's gassing out, too. Curtis is pressing him bad, man. The optics of this for Allen looks bad. Oh, good combinations from Curtis, then he eats a left... Leg kick from Curtis, or from Allen. Lands on Curtis, inside leg kick. Left hand from Curtis as the jab lands from Allen. Ooh, nice combo from Allen. Oh, Allen shoots, gets him down. Don't give up your back. He's going to give up his back again. 
He's going to give up his back again, man. This is going to cost him the round. Immediately gets taken down. Immediately gives up your back. But I guess he's comfortable in this position. He thinks he can get out of it. But this is going to fuck you on this round. Pretend you got eye poked. Oh, Curtis ends up on top. Let's go. He's, hey, he knows what the fuck he's doing. He gets right up. Turns into him. Let's him up. Allen's fucking tired, boys. Allen's fucking tired, man. Fuck, dude. Curtis is way too comfortable with his fucking back taken, man. Rip, rip, rip to the body from Curtis. Yes, left hand from Curtis. Fuck him up. Right hand to the body from Curtis. Dude, you can just see Allen fucking wilting right now. Right hand to the body from Curtis. Curtis backing him up again. Ooh, nice right hand by Brendan Allen. Where's the right elbow? I can't tell. Ooh, big left hand from Curtis just misses. Whew. I think Curtis is starting to slow down now, too. I want to see that eye poke again. Head kick for Brendan Allen, Lance. This is a good fight, man. Curtis was loading up there. Brendan Allen, another takedown. Don't give up your back again. He gives up his back, but hell, he's been getting out of his position. Curtis breaking the grip here. Trying to peel the grip off here. Gives up, ends up giving up his back on the ground again. He's going to try to turn into it. Nope, both hooks in. Curtis turns right into him again, but he gets full mounted this time. 25 seconds. 25 seconds left. He's full mounted now. This is a close round, too. There's a rake after the punch. I'll check it out. He's not doing anything. Allen's not doing anything. He can still lose this round. One elbow. He threw one elbow. Allen's completely gassed, man. Allen's completely gassed. Could fifth be the fifth round it comes up to. They're saying he needs to finish. I think that last round could go either way. I'll say I, I just slightly lean Allen. Lean Allen. I think whoever wins the fifth probably wins the fight. Uh, dude, stop fucking hugging him. Allen's tired, man. But I guess Curtis is tired too, man. Yeah, they're like, oh, he needs a finish. Oh, right hand from Curtis, Lance. <laughs> Almost everyone has it tied up, but who knows about the judges? It seems like the tweets that are popping up. I could have a 3-1 Curtis. Because last round, Brendan Allen grappled, but I thought Curtis did a little bit more damage. Body kick from Allen. Dude, Allen is just fucking stalling out the fight running. Shoots for another takedown. Oh, my, oh, nasty knee from Curtis. Hurt him. I think he hurt him with the knee. Oh, he's in on a takedown now. Don't give up your back. Sprawl, he gives up his back. Dude, he loves giving his back up. He's so confident he's going to get out of this position, but it's just stall out time, man. How does he constantly get the back? Dude, he hurt him with a knee there. I don't trust the judges at all. 
He's looking for a leg here. Curtis is going to sneak out here. Dude, I wish jump on top of him and fuck him up. Wave him up. All right, they're back. Oh, ripping it to the body. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. You that knee? I can't tell on the replay. They showed it a little bit early. Oh, left hand just hurt Allen, I think. No, it didn't. He ate it. Apparently, the knee didn't land. Brendan Allen stuffed on a takedown here. Curtis sprawls it, but Brendan Allen hold on to an arm here. Look at this shit. Just punch him there, Curtis. Dude, Allen's exhausted. Uppercut from Curtis. Let's go. Dude, he could have fucked him up when he was on his hands and knees on the ground. He could have just knocked him out with a shot. Brennan Allen was like, uppercut from Allen, partially lands, but Allen's completely gassed. Left hand from Curtis lands. There was an elbow from Allen in there too. I want to see that knee again. Head kick from Allen. That was blocked and Paul Felder screaming. Oh, right hand from Curtis. Right hand from Curtis. L right, left hand from Allen. Another shot from... I wish he would beat the fuck out of him here. Yes, punch him! Please punch him here! Yes, punch him! Punch him! Punch him! Punch him to the body here. Dude, Brandon Allen's got holding on to the glove here, it looks like. Yeah, beat him up to the body. Fuck him up to the body. Dude, I wish he could fucking punch him right in the face right now. Yeah, palm the back of his head. Let him up. Don't let him up. Fuck him up. Punch him. Look at this. Look at this motherfucker. He's gassed. Oh, nice right hand from Allen. Oh, Allen throwing big shots. Another shot. Sprawl out. Sprawl out. Don't let him get the back. Don't let him get the back. Oh, weird throw. Don't let him get your back. No, now we 122 left. He lets him get the back again. He just loves letting him get the back, but he gets out of it every time. Either way, Allen's got to do a lot of damage to win this round. Curtis has already won those other two rounds, two, three, and now five. Curtis should get this decision, even unless Allen does a bunch of damage here. Come on, turn into him, Curtis. He's going to turn into him. He hasn't done anything this whole round. Just don't get choked. He scrambles out. Beat the fuck out of him here. Fuck him. Smash him on the ground. Don't let him up. He waves him up. Go after him. Go after him. 26 seconds. Fucking Allen, desperation shot again. Fuck him up! Why hit him right there? Al Curtis might have got hurt on something. Oh, he's going to get finished. Curtis got hurt at the end here. I think he hurt his arm at the end. That's Curtis's win. I think he tore his hamstring or something at the end. He tore his hamstring at the end. Probably tore his hamstring. Dude, Curtis should win that 3-2. He tore his hamstring, I bet. Dude, thank God that happened with 10 seconds. Dude, if they somehow fuck Curtis, two, three, and five, and you could even give him four. No way he lost it because he injured his hamstring getting up. When did he almost get finished? How, why would they rule that a TKO?
Dude, I hope that injury at the end doesn't fuck him. He like twists his knee. And Alan saw it. What do you mean Alan won? Dude, this should be Curtis. This should be Curtis. 3 2. Split decision. 48 47 Curtis. 48 47 Allen. 49 46. What the fuck? 49. Dude, Brendan Allen is a fucking bitch. How the fuck did he get it 49 46? 4 to 1? What? Based off of what rounds? I knew they were going to rob this motherfucker. He fucking got, he got a robbery win. Dude, that's crazy. What, they give him the fifth round because he tore his hamstring the last 10 seconds? Dude, Chris dominated the fifth round. Chris clearly won the second round and he rocked him in the third. That's crazy. What's a title shot now? A robbery win. Yeah. Dude, Brendan Allen calling for a title shot. That's crazy. He wants Sean Strickland. Dude, he's acting like he 100% won this fight. What a joke. That's bullshit, dude. Torn hamstring is not fucking damage that anybody did in the fight. That's crazy. Anyone who scored the fifth round for Brendan Allen is a fucking delusional idiot. I wonder what happened. I wonder if it's me. Dude, it was not that close. All right, good. Retire then, bro. Adios. That's so fucking stupid. Brendan Allen shooting on desperation takedowns for the last three rounds straight. Yeah, he was oblique. He threw like three oblique kicks the whole fucking fight, and they were in the early rounds. That's crazy. That That's a robbery. Dude wins because of a torn hamstring in the last five seconds. That's a joke. Ultra competitive fifth round? Paul Felder said it was 2-2 going in the fifth. They gave Allen round five. They gave him round five. Who was pushing the pace more? Brandon Allen. What? That's crazy. People are delusional. If they think if they think Allen won the fifth round because of a torn hamstring, that's crazy. That's a joke. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a that's a robbery. It's a fucking robbery. I'm done with this shit. I hate this fucking sport. I knew they were going to do that shit. I genuinely don't know. Curtis did nothing in five. 
Curtis was boxing him up in five. That's crazy. I think that injury did sway the judges, dude. Because they think he got hurt by something. So. That's crazy, bro. It was a good fight, though. Either way, it was a good fight. It's just, I mean, anyone who's saying that. I mean, that's wild. That's fucking wild. They they said Allen pushed the pace. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, so you're, you you know what you're you're actually delusional right now. So why don't you go sit in timeout for a while? You're saying it right now. I want to know who the fuck scored it. Forty nine, forty six. I mean, that's straight up crazy. I, if you score, like, literally, I can't even, there's no way I can justify round five for Brendan Allen. Three hundreds next, though, that's true. Dude, I, I see motherfucker saying he won in the last ten seconds. He won in the last 10 seconds. That's literally not possible. That's crazy. Motherfuckers are delusional. He won in the last 10 seconds because he injured his legs, stuffing off desperation takedowns. All three judges gave round five to Brendan Allen. No, he didn't have him hurt at all, dude. He didn't hurt him at all. He had a knee injury or a hamstring injury. That had nothing to do with any damage that he did. So. I mean, that's crazy. That was a robbery if I've seen one. Straight up robbery. It's the fight most one minute longer. Brendan Allen was done too. So you, you guys are, you guys are fucking delusional. If you think him hurting his hamstring in the last 10 seconds of the fight somehow lose a round that he dominated. That's crazy. Rightfully. Fucking delusional. Round five. Chris Curtis literally dominated everything but the last 10 seconds where he hurt his hamstring. Scoring round five for Allen is indefensible. It's literally indefensible. No, Hernandez did not get robbed. That's fucking crazy, dude. Indefensible scorecards. That's crazy. And dude's calling for a title shot after that. He got robbed, dude. People are saying justifiably so that he gets round five. Well, you know what? If Curtis would have just ended up on top and just beat the fuck out of him on top, It was done. So. That's crazy. I can't believe motherfuckers are just, are, are actually defending around five. It was a great fight though. You have to realize the judges didn't know he had a knee injury. I knew he had a knee injury. Or a hamstring injury. It wasn't anything Allen landed, dude. He just backed up. Anyone that, I'm being dead serious. Anyone that scored round five, 
anyone that scored round five for Brendan Allen is a genuine fucking idiot. He dominated Allen in round five outside of the last 10 seconds. So. Yeah, Chris should have stayed on top instead of letting him up, I guess. So. I I think it's closer to 4-1 Curtis than 4-1 for Allen. Yeah, dude, he should have just stayed there just beating up his body because he was completely gassed. I scored a three two for Curtis. That's I'm I'm done. That's just horrible scorecards, man. It, look, dude, if you genuinely five scoring five for anyone but Curtis is indefensible. It was a robbery, dude. Curtis clearly won two, three, and five. You could even make a case for Curtis to have four. I mean, I don't understand. So flailing on the ground and getting stuffed repeatedly until your opponent just backs out and hurts his hamstring in the last 10 seconds and then absorbs almost no damage from you the entire round, all of a sudden, because you hurt your hamstring, that means in, in the, with 10 seconds to go, you hurt your hamstring. That means you lose the fight. Makes no sense. That, 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 that's like that's like saying Chael Sonnen won the fucking round where John Jones finished him. Curtis dominated round two, dude. And rocked him in, in round three. Look, I can't help you if you don't if you don't see what I see here. I think it was clearly. And Brandon Allen is straight up shit, by the way. Dude's calling for a title shot after a robbery win against a short notice opponent. It dude, it doesn't matter. What about what about Brandon Allen's pain from shooting nonstop takedowns and laying on the mat like this? Ten seconds? You can't tell me that ten seconds of almost nothingness wins you a fight. So, it's literally horseshit. We should have known it was going to happen. It's literally horseshit. Let's see when he stands up. I wonder if it's a knee. Dude, he could have just laid on top of him too. Knee didn't land. Let's see if any of these other land. Elbow didn't land, land on the forearm. There was a knee that he threw, head kick was blocked. Yeah, dude, Allen didn't even land any of the follow-up shots. Brendan Allen didn't land any of the follow-up shots. Not a single one of those follow-up shots landed either. Not a single one. Maybe the knee did. Maybe. I, I don't think it even did. Let's see if it shows the replay. I want to see the replay. I don't even think the knee landed. Fucking robbery, bro. They don't show it. Of course they don't show it. They just show the knee injury. That's a fucking robbery, man. It's not... It wasn't a good... I mean, it was a good fight. But one competitor clearly won third, three rounds. Um... That's just bullshit. Straight up bullshit. Curtis was literally giving up his back to Allen because he had no fear of him. And he was easily scrambling out of it, dude. And he was boxing him up on the feet. And Allen has no cardio. A torn hamstring, a torn hamstring is a serious injury. Let's Google how long to recover 
from a torn hamstring. Two months. It could take two months to heal from a torn hamstring where a perennial nerve is uh, less than an hour. If that's the joke. Yeah, dude, I heard him calling for a title shot. Well, I didn't see what you said. I just read the first part. I didn't see the whole thing. Man, this sucks because now everyone's going to say, oh, you're just biased. You don't know what you're talking about. There are three levels. Thoughts on Guru Glazing Allen and acting like he's not biased and Kurt. Dude, Glazing Allen from that performance? That's crazy. That's true. That's crazy, man. Allen embarrassed himself in that fight. Dude got boxed up and got a robbery win and called for a title shot. If you give if you give round five to Allen, you're smoking dick. If you give round five to Allen, you're smoking dick. So, if you are giving round five to Brendan Allen, you are smoking crack. (laughs) Shooting desperation takedowns the entire round while getting Beaten up on the feet. Shooting desperation takedowns until your opponent hurts their leg. So the, the entire round while getting beaten up. Does that make sense? Shooting, shooting desperation takedowns until your opponent hurts their leg. While getting beaten up on the feet badly doesn't win you a round. It's a fucking joke, man. Congrats to Brennan. Shut the fuck up. Dude, you could score for Curtis 4 1. These judges suck ass, man. These judges straight up suck ass. So. There's no way. Yeah, dude, I'm dead serious. That's exactly that's exactly what I think. I thought Curtis won when they said 49-46 too. Because 4 was 50-50 and I thought I could go Curtis. Dude's calling for Drikus. Hopefully they give him Strickland, man. What a joke. What a fucking joke. Forty nine, forty six. Allen was a pre written scorecard. Dude, what a joke, man! Dude, Allen looked like shit shooting. Des- he shot desperation takedowns for all like three and four and five. I think in order to judge, you need to have at least one pro MMA fight in your career before you're able to judge a fight. I don't fucking know, dude. Out damage basically every round, and Allen's only success was land on Curtis until Curtis decided to stand up. I know, dude. I- I'm just so sick of these judges. Anybody else getting sick and tired of the judges 
ruining fights by their inability to render the correct scorecards. It's it's honestly making me hate the sport. It really is. It really is making me hate the sport. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I'm honestly thinking optics after the bell is what won the fight. Chepe Jackson and Curtis all should have won. Chepe did win, but he shouldn't have won. I'm sick and tired of always being sick and tired. Just said fuck in front of his daughter. I'm seeing he's at the desk. He says, I don't think Dick has took the belt from Sean. Dude's a clown. Dude, he's making all these excuses. He said there's no one else that could have made event of this card. Dude, he's saying he's going to beat Strickland. Exactly. Apply that to O'Malley's last fight. He's saying, he said, I know I could be drink as easily. <laughs> It's not infant, it'd be toddler daughter or young daughter. If it was based on skills, I'd be champion, but I don't have as many followers as Drickus. This is so fucking stupid. So, DDP isn't even all that. Alan could somehow beat him. Dude talks about cum shots in front of his daughter, though. You say I keep saying I took this fight on short notice. Dude, he, he embarrassed himself with this performance, dude. And straight up embarrassed himself. I can't believe anyone thinks he won. I thought everyone was going to think he lost. Dude begged and pleaded and begged and pleaded for a title shot. Yeah, I think the optics after the bell rung was what decided the fight. Everyone knows it was a robbery on Instagram? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anymore, boys. I really don't. It's just ruining the sport for me. I went and napped and woke up for the main event. This shit just pisses me off.
I can't believe this shit. What was your reaction when Chivasa lost to Deborah? Poor dude was on his birthday. Really nice guy. I felt bad for him, dude. He's just a bomb, man. He's just a bomb. That's what that's the way I felt. He's just shit, man. What what a joke. I can't believe If you had a four one for Allen, you're a fucking idiot. I'm not even responding to that, just stupid. Marvin Vittori said, Alan, what the fuck you calling for a title shot, dog? Shit, you got rocked every single round and prayed you weren't getting the takedown just to hang there. This shit was embarrassing. Dude, at this point, I think Vittori beats him, man. Vittori's got some decent striking. Surely wasn't the funniest shit ever, what? His name and Alan that says it all. Basically. And now I gotta go record a a full post fight for this shit. <sighs> dude, it, w it was pretty funny, dude. It was pretty funny. I thought it was pretty funny. I'm just annoyed, man. This is just, it's just poor decision after poor decision after poor fucking decision. At least it was a good fight, yeah. At least it was a good fight, boys. I'm just second. I'm genuinely second. But why was she pissed at my reaction? Because she wanted to Avasa to win? Dude, he looked horrible. It was funny as hell. What was she mad? Why was she mad? How can you guys be so upset even though the fighters were hugging every round? Dude, shut the fuck up. Some kind of cuts. Dude. I got too much 300 shit to do. How much... And look, I gotta fucking go do something with my hair before I record a fucking video and look like a total fucking clown. I look worse than Damon Jackson right now. You looked okay in the striking? <laughs> I guess, bro. I guess. Just cut every single one of them motherfuckers. Dude, people saying, oh, blah, blah, blah. If it, if it was went 10 more seconds, it was over. It doesn't mean shit. Three hundred next week. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. What? What do you mean? Was it announced at the post fight or whatever? Or no? <laughs> what happened? What's up, Joey? What did I miss? The haircut looking like Neil Magny every day. Yeah. Send Ty to the prelims. Yeah, Ty to Avasa is a total bomb, dude. Shit was embarrassing. 4 1 Allen is actually crazy. We never, never see a shoey again. Oh, we'll see it at the Kentucky State Fair. Listen, boys, like the stream, like the stream, like the stream. I'm going to get out of here. I'm pissed off. I'm annoyed. I got to go make a post fight. And this is just horseshit. This is just horseshit. So, goodbye.
Good night. I appreciate you boys. And uh, Brendan Allen talks about sexual things in front of his three-year-old daughter. He brags about beating his three-year-old daughter. And uh, he just got a robbery win and begged for a title shot. And he's a bum. Goodbye. Good night. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Like the stream. Thank you for joining me for this shit card. Appreciate you. See you for 300 next week. Goodbye.